This show is sponsored by Venom. Let's Venal. go to the beach, beach. Let's get, get away. They say what they're going to say. Have, have a drink, drink clink, pass a blood light. Have a Starships were meant to fly and jump and touch the sky. You're gonna help. You're gonna help me with this. I can't. I drink you're coffee. You, you can drink. You can drink more caffeine. You're I gonna know. Help me with it. I have. To, I'm gonna. I'm Listen, gonna stay. I employ you, so you're gonna drink caffeine. Yes. 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 <laughs> Would you guys like be weirded out or would you guys think it's kind of cool if you and your brother got with like the same girl but it was like a not awesome like one the girl was one of your girlfriends or is going to be one of your girlfriends just a random girl random ass girl and i find out and she's bad and she's bad and your your bro you you let's say you got with her first and and your, your we brother we know we know who brother yeah, and, and your brother's like yo bro. Like, he's like dude guess what yeah See, I saw I mean, video, I would you be kind of like? Would you be kind of late, or would it depend on how your brother's reacting? I'd be to like, it? dude, that's kind of weird because you're like underage right now. <laughs> no, <laughs> bro. It's, yeah, it's good. Let's reason, say though. your brother was of age. Oh. Year a couple years later. Years later. Um, I wouldn't be like, dude, that's sick. I might dab him up, but <laughs> I'd be like, F yeah, bro. That's you're dabbing him up though. I might dab him up. Yeah. Sage, what if you were the one that hooked up with the girl afterwards though? From, then your brother, like your brother, got with her first, and then you hooked up with her. If he was of age, yes, he's of age. Obviously, <laughs> Sage. Um, am I gonna tell him? I don't know. Would you tell him? I don't know. How would I know that? <laughs> like you already knew that they oh, obviously, okay. like you already knew that they got what together. If you, okay, what if he was like, yo, like let me show you this girl. You know what I mean? Oh. And he shows you her, and you're like, dude. Oh. You know what I mean? Yeah. Okay. That, yeah. Then I would be like, yeah. Then I would. Did, would you? What? Would you dab your brother? Up? I don't know. <laughs> Maybe like a fist bump. Yeah. That's so sick, dude. I wouldn't be like, yo, dude. I'd just be like, word. You know what I mean? What, word, would, you, yeah. what would you do, though? Because, like, one of my friends, she's dating a guy, and he's a twin. Oh, and dude, she don't tell me. Wait, and what? She fucked the twin, and the boyfriend doesn't know about on, it. <gasps> on accident? No, she, no knew. she knew. Not on accident. That is that considered cheating though? What? <laughs> <laughs> same, same, it's but it's different. Same person. What do you mean? What do you mean? What is it? <laughs> same, same, but different. Wait. What do you mean? What do you do? Is that is that is that what you asked? What do you do? Yeah, like, what would you like? Am I the twin or am I the one? That's if, if that that's crazy. If I had a twin and they and they didn't say. To me, bro. But you kind of have to be messed up in the head to get with the twin, but at the same time, I'm so confused because I'm like, so she cheated. The same per <laughs> she's the same person. Nick, shut the. F I know what she did, but like, why would you do that though? You know what I mean? Like, it's the same person. Like, like he, she just walked into the room and he was just there. Like, maybe she just. He was dark. Wait, she accidentally did it. Same hair, oh. same facial structure. You can get that confused. She did it on purpose. Maybe She's evil. she was trying to get back at her boyfriend for something. God, man, why did why did yeah, 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 yeah. why did you think that she's gotta have a motive? Nah. <laughs> trying to back her up. Why else would you right? do that? Right, because if it was like a physical, she's fucking yeah. crazy. If it was a <laughs> physical also, thing, it wouldn't make any sense. But also, like, why don't we blame the twin brother that that f***ed her back? She's a. Whore. That's my. But that'd like, be my only answer. Honestly. Okay. Honestly, the blame is on both because he. They both owed him loyalty. So. Yes. Yeah, so no. I agree. The brother is. Is fucked up as well. I was about to say getting fucked. <laughs> <laughs> that makes sense. Yeah, dude. That that's that fucked up from dude, both that sides. Is How did she just willingly confess well, that to you, or did you find out? I found out. <gasps> oh, you found out. I found out, but it's like verified. <gasps> so, do you feel they're bad verified? at all for not like <laughs> they're both, they're letting the twin brother know? <laughs> no, it's like verified. <laughs> no. Huh? Do you feel bad at all for not letting the twin brother know? Is he your friend at all? I've met him like a couple times. Like I'm more closer. I feel so guilty. <laughs> Don't lie, is he a good guy? He's a good guy. He's a good guy. You know what's crazy? Yeah, Can you imagine so that guy, like everyone knowing, just knowing that piece of information, you just have oh no idea. Oh my god! See, that's the thing. Like, and it's, it's your brother. Like, what's good, bro? Like stabbing his brother. I'm like, uh, I can yeah. family function and everything. <laughs> yeah. Your girlfriend's right there. People like that, like, like the thrill of doing shit like that. 
Yeah. You got to. Yeah. You have. Because that's like psychotic behavior. Extremely. But guys, I don't kink shame. Sounds like Shameless. You guys watch Shameless? Anyone no. here? Okay, never mind. That got really awkward then. Are they f- twins in that? Uh, I mean, they're she, fucking she, everybody yeah, in yeah, that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like the, the older sister got with the brother of her boyfriend. Mm. Brother of her boyfriend. That's not the same as Why a twin, though. That? No, it's not. It's not. It's not. That's psychotic. The brother of her boyfriend. The brother of yeah. her boyfriend. Her boyfriend's <laughs> brother. Yeah. Why don't you say it like that? Her brother's boyfriend. The brother of her boyfriend is the same. The I've never boyfriend. heard anybody say that before. The brother of her the boyfriend. The mother of your sister. <laughs> the mother, your sister's yeah. mother. <laughs> your sister's mom is your mom. But the you, mother of my sister. Either way, dude. God wait, damn. Wait, even that is weird. If you had a brother and then you were with the girl, and then a year later he's but with that girl. But the reason in the show, the reason why the brother got with her, even though she was dating his brother, was because he was jealous of his brother. So he was like, you know what? I'm gonna get my get back. You know what I mean? Like your he, brother huh? yeah, right. dates your ex. That's just well, uh, how would you? How, what would you do? <laughs> Which? What do you mean? I think that's so f- weird. Yeah, that but like, what? What would you do though? Tell him to break up with her? I don't know. I would just say that's lie. Just, lie about her? I don't I'd know. I probably say that's weird, but that's f- weird. But whatever, do what you want. That's probably what I would say. Do we end on good terms? Me and the ex. I mean, does that really matter? No. <laughs> I would say that's fucking weird. Because she could become like your sister-in-law. <laughs> yeah, I would say that's weird, dude. That's weird from the brother. I'd be like, God, can't you find another woman yeah. out there? Like, Jesus Christ. Yeah. <laughs> but she He's like, me. no, I like that one, though. Yeah. <laughs> Guys, um, I brought in a side bowl, but I left it on the table, and it's probably melting right now. I think uh-huh. I should go get it. Yeah, go get it. My acai bowl. Oh. Go get it, Maru. She's, like, she's asking one of you guys. Yes. <laughs> I was going to ask one of you guys, too. So would, <laughs> it wouldn't be a hassle. That's crazy, bro. Uh, no, it's on that oh. side. Oh. He got that. He got that. Honestly, side, honestly, it's got to be that side. No yeah. one's getting it. Because I'm gonna knock over the cameras. That's yeah, equipment lost. Kidding, Thank you, Sage. Damn, you a good man. I would. I wouldn't do it. You're a nice, you're a nice guy, Sage. I got a knee injury. Can you believe this is gonna be the last time we all see each other for like a month? What? See each other? Well, like do this. This is the last time we're gonna be like recording for. So this is the last time we see Christine for. Yeah, it's probably the last time we see Christine. Yeah, yeah. And Madu. For we like won't see Madu for a month. Are you excited? I am really excited. Are you gonna get FOMO? My parents are going in November, and I'm yes, trying I'm to decide if I should go with them or not. You Where? should go. South Korea. To, they're going to Korea in November. It'll be a good like get away from everything. Do you actually think you're gonna get FOMO? Hella FOMO. But you're gonna be doing living your life though. Yeah, but like without you guys. So oh, thanks, Sage. Are you guys ready to start, Christine? You want to sign us in? Oh, Christine, something? Yes. Damn. You ready? Last one, man. You better make it f- good, dude. No pressure. Guys, this is it. Guys. This, this is, is it. it. Nick, I can't get over the fact that you look like um, freaking like Steve Irwin. Why are we saying that? Like, this is our Steve last Irwin. episode. Right now? Irwin? Is that right? Steve Irwin, yeah. Wait, right now? The guy that got... Yeah, Stingray? Stingray. <laughs> to the heart? I'm just making sure it's the right guy. I don't think it was in the heart. <laughs> yeah, by Stingray. It was in the heart? Do you, have an, do you have a good Australian accent? Uh, Oi, mate. Oh, f- Oh, <laughs> alligators and don't we have crocodiles. A lot of, don't don't we have a lot of Australian fans? I, I don't. Yeah, oh, I that's might. what we do. I hey, it's like it's, it's like might. Yeah. Oh, I might. Oh, I might. No. Crocodiles. Might. 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 <laughs> oh, I might. <laughs> <laughs> okay. All right. Sign us in, Christine. Sign us in. Also, 400k. Oh, oh. I forgot about that. Thanks for 400,000 subscribers, y'all. Holy shit, I completely forgot about that. I didn't make it. Thank you so much. Yeah. Don't, Sean. You gotta stop throwing things up, bro. You gotta stop throwing things up. I just meant to throw up a K. I did 400. 4K T Sean. 4K T Sean. You might actually do like a gang sign or something. It looked like you did. I just want. He definitely threw a gang sign. Oh, oh, probably should not do that anymore. Probably shouldn't do that. It's a peace sign. Sean, that's crip. He threw it up sideways. All right. Anyways, Christine, go ahead. <laughs> yeah. He's Bill. It's all right. Yeah, it's all right. I swear to God, after a month, can you guys please just watch the videos back and just learn how to start I it and how to finish it? I always the beginning. Why? Because sometimes, start. sometimes it rambles for too long. It does. We ra- we, we we be rambling. Our intros do be like fifteen minutes. We're on eighteen minutes. Hello, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome back to another episode of Suburb Talks. I'm your host, Christine. With me, I have Sage, Evan, Maru. Nick Johnson. <laughs> <laughs> guys, for those of you guys who don't know, Madu's going away for a month to South Korea. 
Um, and we've stacked up a podcast. We've doubled up. We've been tired. We pushed through it. And uh, basically, we're not going to see anyone again for like a month. I'm not going to see any of these people. I, yeah, yeah, we're lying. It is just going to be Christine. It's just Christine. Besides ads. Well, we're not going to see Madu. Probably not going to see Sage. Much I won't Sage. see Sage either. And Devin's probably not going to be there at all. Me? Yeah, come on. Let's, <laughs> is it me? What? Let's be honest. Come on. No, I always hit you up now. You just don't, you don't give a shit about it's me, It's all Sean. big lies. It's such a lie. Okay, first question. It kind of goes into what we were talking about before, but... This person says, I'm talking to a guy my best friend used to date before her and I even met. How do I tell her? Mm. Wait, wait, wait. Oh, I'm talking she's to a guy. Oh, she's talking to a guy. She doesn't, her best friend the best friend doesn't know. The best friend doesn't I'm know. I'm talking to a guy my best friend used to date. Bef- but this was, Stop. they stopped, they broke up before this girl and her met. So the best friend, the best friend right now doesn't know that she's I'm talking assuming, to I'm assuming, yeah, yeah. Because how do I tell her? Man, I don't think you do that to your best friend. Yeah. It, it just depends. Yeah. If this is in high school, friends, yeah. fuck you over in high school all the time. Honestly, I would yeah. think it doesn't really matter. <laughs> True. Dating's also very different, bro. Because like dating you on that in high school, like it's like everyone's. Yeah. This, wait, everyone's, wait. What are you, you saying? It's okay? Yeah. If in high oh, school, oh, just, I think it's fine. Yeah. yeah. High school, every, you see the same people every yeah, day. Yeah, but I feel like I feel people. like your feelings are more intense though in high school, and you're gonna lose that friend. Yeah. You would not give a shit. Yeah, I think in high school. I think in high school. I think if everyone you're, gets, everyone if you're gets a good it. person, yeah, you know, you can leave them. You can tell your friend. Um, but yeah, in high school, I feel like it's kind of like a ground for evilness and you can kind of do what you want to do. Everyone's going to forgive. If you, if you feel bad about it, you know, then end it. But like, yeah, I do think everyone's going to forgive you. If they're your friend, they'll forgive you and they won't really, they won't really care too much. Yeah. Yeah. But I also think it's like, there's a timeline there too, though. What if it was after high school though? <sighs> if you're like in your no. 20s, I think you got a dip. <laughs> yeah. I think it's, both wrong in high school and out of high school. There's so many people to pick from. Like, why are you going for? But your- like high school, he's got a point. High school, it's very like there's like a small. It's like a society. Yeah, you know? it's yeah, it's tight. Everyone dating the same people. Everyone's you know getting with the same people. You probably didn't find a bunch of people attractive at Sunny Hills. There's probably maybe a couple to pick from. Would you mm-hmm. say that? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. You could count them on one finger, or you think it's over 15, 10? Yeah. Because then all of the rest of the people probably think the same people are attractive. Yeah. This is how it worked. Mm. I see you guys' point. Yeah. Mm. But I feel like, mm, I don't know. I still think it's weird. Because even in high school, yeah. it's real feelings, real people. You know? Yeah, that is true. That is true. I think it just depends on if you feel guilty about it or hey, not. Did you ever like anybody from another high school? No, think about it. I don't think oh, we. Do we <laughs> why are you looking uh, at me, bro? Just, well, just that one. Just that one. Just that one. But I mean, like, I've, just, oh, that's the only one? Because I, don't, I never remember liking anybody from any. Oh. <laughs> 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 okay, early on, after, early on, yeah, early. early on, okay, early so on. after ninth, after ninth grade, uh, no, right? Devin, if you would have dated that girl and then y'all would have broken up and like I found out she liked me, I wouldn't have given a fuck and I would have gone with her. <laughs> no, I'm I, so I, sorry. I wasn't close, but to we, were, time. we yeah, also yeah. weren't super close. We weren't best now, friends. Now imagine though. that compared to that happened like now. See friends. that I'd be like hell not. Nah. Yeah. I feel I'd be like, like hell it's nah. really different with guys though. Yeah. Okay. That's, I was gonna make that point too. I feel like I feel like guys sometimes don't really care. Okay. So I was gonna make that. That's point. what I'm saying. So that's why I said like guys <laughs> don't care as much as girls do. Unless it's like a long relationship. Yeah. I was gonna or, say it's like, or it's or fresh. Or it's like yeah, yeah. Or it's fresh. Yeah. That is true. When my girls like when we're like okay dibs on that guy or like I like him then it's like we do the dibs type of thing. Yeah. yeah. With my crazy. girlfriends <laughs> it's like even if she has liked him like. I wouldn't go after him. Do you know what I'm saying? Yeah, I yeah. feel that. I actually know a lot of girls like that where like in the friend group, if it's like, oh, my homegirl liked that guy or yeah. kissed that guy, I cannot. He is absolutely off limits, like walls up and right. everything. I also had a lot of, mm. I also encountered a lot of girls just not caring. Very true. Really? It goes both ways. I see mostly guys And they're though. close friends. Really? Yeah. I mean, I got a lot of things like that too. <laughs> like I'm hooking up with my best friend's ex, and yeah. she doesn't know. Yeah. That's, okay, best friend's ex. Uh, I don't like that though. Okay, yeah. Cause like, like, okay, because <laughs> when I hear best friend, I think about like y'all. And yeah, I can't and then, do and then that. The ex that, like, mean, that, me means too. that they they yeah. love each other. You know what I mean? Like, if you I just it, don't understand. Like, there's so many people word. out there, and you're gonna push it like that. <laughs> they use like, I feel like people that are like that for sure. They like the fucking. I don't know, like. They like that they're doing something bad. I think that's when you're younger, though. Like, I think it's very rare when you get older to get, have scenarios to like get that. high and off, if, like, the scandalous stuff. Yeah, yeah, but yeah, stuff like that. And even getting with, like, the same people. I'm just saying, I think he made a good point. It's like when you're younger, there's, like, especially in high school, like, there's only a few people, really, that you're around and that you really see. Yeah, you and you get over stuff so quickly, dude. Like, honestly. Yeah, I get over your sleep. You get, like, yeah. Yeah, yeah, 
Yeah, you get like really intense feelings, and then like tomorrow you're kind of just like. Yeah, dude, it was. It's like that all the time. So you might like you and your friend or might hate each other for a little bit. She might say she's okay, but she's not okay. And then like two months later, you're probably gonna break up with the guy, and then you guys are gonna be fine again. Yeah. Like I, I, I had a. What'd you have? Thing like that where my friend asked me if he could talk to this girl, and I really didn't even care. I, I was like, yeah, I, I don't care. I was not, I wasn't dating her, but at the time, it was like your first person that you like, you're like so infatuated with them. Yeah. And it was literally like a month later, I was like, oh, I don't even care. Like, it didn't really, it didn't bother me at all. Yeah. Now that I think about it, like, from the people I like talk to, um, I feel like there's people that I wouldn't care, but there's also people that I would care. Mm. Yeah. Depending on how much I like them. Yeah. That's a good point. That's a good point. Cause I think I want to say I had an interaction like that too, where someone asked me, and I was just very like, I really don't care. Like you're chilling. Would there be a girl that? Can you think of one that you? I don't like? think so. Just because, like, even the most recent, I don't think I'd really care. Just because, like, it, I've never it dated dated somebody. You get what I mean? Like, I've never used the L word. Right. So like, it's it's. You never you never love somebody. Mm, uh, so every time you told me, Not like, me. I love that woman. Huh? Not me. You're dodging the question. I love you. So that was a joke, Nick. What? Whenever you'd be like, I love that woman. Oh, definitely a joke. Because like okay. love is like, I feel like I know. <laughs> you know there's, a, I mean? there's a certain tone that you say it in when yeah. you mean it, rather than just yeah. being how like, oh, I love that girl. How? What do you mean? How, how would I would say, you say it? it? I mean, I'm. First I'm the first girl that. You, that you Shit. How would I say it? I think I had to be like. <laughs> I don't know if I'd be able to say it. I don't know if I'd be able to say it sober, bro. If I was the first one to say it, I don't know if I'd be able to say it sober. Oh, okay, don't say that. Then don't say that. So I, I don't know. I love you. I, I, I don't know. I really don't. I think you couldn't get it out of your mouth. Though. I don't think I'd be able to get it out of my mouth. Would it be easier if she said it first? Yeah, but I still think Even when she first says it, I don't really know if I'd say it back. Because you wouldn't probably feel the same way. No clue. Just no clue. That's scary. Scary. <laughs> Wait, really, Nick? You think the last person you talked to, if any of the boys here like talked to her, you wouldn't care? No, I, nah, I really see, don't think. I, I, I think that's but, a lie. Nah, nah, that's if a someone lie. brought her around. No, I'd be like, no, no, no. Because because so many other no, no, no. Girls because because, have, because I'm gonna tell you why. Because I think that if that would have happened, the first three or four months, January, February, March, April. <laughs> wait, 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 wait. Oh, sorry, Gun. December. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The first three months, I would have been like, that's fucking weird. But I saw her recently and I was just like, everything was just chilling. Like, I, before when I saw her, I was kind of like, oh shit. But it was just chilling. Like, I was I just kind of I think like, that's Kaepernick, chill. though. Like, you could say that now, but when it actually happens. Yeah, like, maybe when it happens, I'm like, I think, like, way different. I think it depends on the level of friendship you have with the person, yeah. too. Like, if yeah, it was yeah, anyone yeah. here, I'd be like, come on, bro. Can we just not do that shit? Like, if, if, I was, saw, <laughs> if I saw, like, Vit with her, I'd probably be oh, like, all right. God. Uh, maybe that's a little weird but if, bro. Yeah, if you have like certain friends maybe you only see like a couple yeah. times or at the gym yeah, or something you're like oh them, they probably like got around hanging out that's a good cares. point yeah, no, that's yeah. a good point that's a good point that's not gonna bother you but if it's like like inner in circle? our group or even yeah, at this circle. table i'd be like damn man i can't, I can't have someone else out there like <laughs> would you consider Madi part of your inner circle yeah why did you ask you, me like would you that? consider <laughs> sean part of your inner circle yeah it depends how inner we're talking. Christina, am I part of your inner Damn. circle? No, no, it's same thing for you. You got your, you got your inner inner circle. <laughs> You're like, no, like almost there, <laughs> directly like. out of it. <laughs> the next, the next ring. You're like the closest, and probably next to Madu because I talked to you about Cynthia. Mm, okay, sounds good. Sounds That's good. That's the only good. reason why. Am I like level five at least? <laughs> level five. <laughs> level five. Level five. Level five is just. Friends. That's what I think. I think. I think it's like this, and then like this, and then like bigger, bigger rings. No, in yeah. my yeah. In, yeah. My, yeah. in my inner circle, I literally only have my boyfriend and Ashley, my best friend. Okay, so level five. I'm cool. So level you guys five. are like level two, which oh, is like right that. outside. Of I'll it. take it. No, I'll take it. Oh I'll my take god! Level I'll two. fucking take that shit. I'll take level two. <laughs> level two is so fucking happy. lit in level. Two. Yeah, I'm so fucking happy right now. <laughs> Sometimes level one is hard. Yeah, yeah. guys. <laughs> no, honestly, that made me really happy. I thought it would be like level, level four. I thought I was oh. gonna be level five. I thought I was gonna be level five. What'd you say? I don't even know who was gonna say it. I watched him almost spill his drink <laughs> all over the mic right now. That been, that was sucked. Level one does get hard sometimes with people. Yeah. Are you ready for yeah, your yeah, next question? Out, I have out. a question for the guys. Oh, so let's say, um, let's say, <laughs> let's say your girls, like, okay. Uh, man, I can't speak for everybody because you guys have girlfriends. But let's say they turn into your exes, okay? Hey. But then they somehow. <laughs> I don't, don't want to say that. Knock on the wood right now. <laughs> don't knock on wood. <sighs> but let's say they they turned lesbian for some reason and they got one with with one of your closest girlfriends. 
Would that bother you? You wouldn't be able to come like, around anymore. Like if she, no way I'm coming around anymore. No, nah, nah, like you, like if that happened with me, and it, you, you guys ended up dating, I would not be your friend anymore. Yeah, yeah. that's, no, a, that's I, the same I, I thing can't. as if they were to do yeah, it. Yeah, like I, I, I wouldn't want you doing that. I think that. it might be yeah. even weirder. That's very yeah, bad. Yeah, definitely yeah. weirder. What are you gonna, what are you gonna do to moderate? Yeah. Just like. <laughs> <laughs> you can't even do nothing that's that's so valid i was just wondering because i know guys like would like that better than having their homeboys i wouldn't like it either way mm. oh, yeah i wouldn't be cool with it either mm. way okay that's kind of crazy yeah so this next oh. question sorry no go ahead. i just kind of imagine like <laughs> i know i'm imagining right? i kind of just imagine like my ex getting with one of y'all and i want to throw up like that would why be you want to throw up because that would be a completely worse who do you see him with at this table any of them yeah like who would it be Sean. At this <laughs> who you have, who first came up in your head <laughs> me why the fuck me just eight. none of y'all like but gotta hey. be you, man. <laughs> i think the closest for some reason Sean. <laughs> what the fuck does that even mean I don't know. Sean, interpret in your own way and take it the best you can. <laughs> yeah, bro. For, yeah, bro. Take it. Good for you, Sean. Take it. She sees you as the biggest threat. That's basically what she's saying. Yeah. Thank you. I guess. I don't really know. There's no explanation. Just Sean for some reason. I could imagine the easiest. I'm not, I'm not saying it the right way. I'm not going to lie to you. It's okay, though. I'll get over it. It's okay. Just continue with the next question, please. Okay. This show is sponsored by BetterHelp. What's up, guys? i like to take a quick second and shout out our sponsors. Without our sponsors, we wouldn't be able to bring you guys this podcast for free on so many different platforms. Thank you, BetterHelp, for sponsoring this episode. I tend to spend a lot of time on other people, and I rarely focus on myself. I'm usually spending seven days a week at my parents' house, helping my family out with whatever I can. And then I have to work so sometimes I forget to prioritize my mental health. It's so easy to get caught up in what everyone needs from you and never take a moment and think about what you need from yourself. I think I tend to focus on work a lot and my own friend's mental health but sometimes I also, like Sean, forget to prioritize my own mental health as well. But when we spend all of our time giving, it can leave us feeling stretched thin and burned out. Therapy can give you tools to find more balance in your life so you can keep supporting others without leaving yourself behind. I think everyone can benefit from therapy because it can help you learn a lot more about yourself and help you deal with your own mental battles. If you're thinking of starting therapy, give BetterHelp a try. It's entirely online, designed to be convenient, flexible, and suitable to your schedule. Just fill out a brief questionnaire to get matched with a licensed therapist and switch therapists for no additional charge at any time. Find more balance with BetterHelp. Visit betterhelp.com slash rancherboys today to get 10% off your first month. That's betterhelp, H-E-L-P dot com slash rancherboys. Thank you, BetterHelp, for sponsoring this episode. Other than that, guys, please enjoy the rest of this podcast. So this next question says, I'm engaged and I still see other guys with lust and i feel really guilty what oh that's, that's messed up so, what the fuck i don't you think should you should be engaged, be engaged. <laughs> no. oh my god but also it depends on like what's your definition of lust yeah like if you're attracted to them as in like oh he's physically attracted like he's my type that's okay that's normal if you're fantasizing once you see him but if you're like yeah, fantasizing about fucking him kind of crazy oh that's a good uh, that's really? a good distinction because once lust the is a fantasizing strong, starts like feeling it is a strong feeling that's that's what that's my definition of lust at least <laughs> you should not so be you should not be engaged <laughs> lust for me is like i'm trying to fuck him <laughs> and you're thinking about you're thinking about all the different ways that you can right yeah that's lust for me too yeah Damn. i would agree try and spice it up with the man or something like that or that's something do something man i feel like that's just something about y'all do something. sex life or something i know like do you think that do you think that the guy could be doing something Dude, wrong in the sex life? you cannot blame the guy for that, though. No, I'm not. Like, even uh, if it's not that's good. That's crazy. But even if it's not good, like, if you're engaged claiming you love somebody, you can just, you can't have those, like, that vision with another person. You know what I mean? What if the guy isn't, like, good in bed? He, yeah. yeah. Now why'd you get engaged, man? Exactly. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's what I'm sex, saying. Sex is, is very, it might be, it, 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 sex is number two, probably. What's up? It's gotta be up to love. Do. I think it's just love, yeah. <laughs> but I sex is it's huge. It's huge, it's yeah. huge relationship. That's why I'm asking, like, maybe like their sex drive recently has gone down. Yeah. I'm not blaming the guy, but I'm just saying like Oh, like he can't get a wiener heart? Oh <laughs> wait, <laughs> wait, wait a uh, second. You know what I was trying to say. <laughs> <laughs> he can't get a wiener heart is crazy. Like what do you tell what do you recommend this person to do then? Uh that's so tricky 
Oh my god. Because like calling off the engagement is fucking big, you know? Thinking of other men like uh, fucking them, that is you should immediately call off. You the should marriage. be single. Yeah, 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 you should be single. You should not be with anybody. But like what if this is a phase for her or something? I don't fucking know. <laughs> okay. <laughs> There's no way that's a phase, dude. There's no way that's a phase. There's no way that's a phase. Like what? She just thinks about fucking everybody and then just goes so away. So we're gonna tell her call out the engagement right now, this stranger. Uh, sure, I would. Uh, dude, dude engagement. If I was the guy, I'd much rather have her end with that me than think about sex with guys all the time. Of your life, man. That's rest of your life unless you want to divorce and do all that fucking I gross ass the, shit. I think the right step to do here is to tell your fiance what you're feeling. Uh, yeah. Uh, Be but, honest but with word him. Word it a little different. Word it. Don't say that you're lusting after other guys, but maybe say like that guy's kind of handsome. No, no. Like don't don't mention any other guy. I've been <laughs> struggling with. Um, Only thinking about you. <laughs> No, don't say that. <laughs> that's not that bad, yeah. Wait, no. Oh, oh wait, no, 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 no. That, that's, that insinuity is like cheating or something. I've been yeah. struggling with only thinking about you. They're all bad. Everything is bad. Just, <laughs> you gotta hit it straight on the head because that's a big deal. Yeah. yeah. You, you can't you can't beat around the bush, dude. Like that's a big deal. Just, I would just say just say I want to spice it up and see if that works. Yeah. No, yeah. but like, what if that's not the problem? <laughs> yeah, exactly. What if that's not the problem? What if it's, like, that's just her? Then, and then if that's not the problem, then you gotta call it off. Yeah, you gotta you, call it off. You that know point. that you want to be with someone else. You want to do something with someone else. It sounds like you don't want to be with him. Yeah. Unless like you're down for an open relationship then oh that's a good that's what i was that. gonna say like monogamous uh marriage would be crazy if you still have you gonna mention that though like that like, i yeah, don't I know think i think once you mention that it's pretty much off it's if hit the, or miss. one person's like nah then it's off you can't come back well, from that you can come back from it. it just depends on like how you go into the conversation of like um whether or not you've decided for yourself like that's something actually that you want or if this is something that you're bringing to the table is like I want to know what your idea about this is, you know? I'd be pretty shot. Yeah, but, okay, so my thing is, what if, if he just takes it the wrong way regardless, it's it's going to be the end of the relationship. If I, if, I got, if I got hit with, hey, honestly, like, hinting at it or something like that, I'd be like, wait a minute, you want to fuck other people? Yeah, <laughs> like, that's the way I'm taking like, it, too. Um, no. But to each their own, he might be for it. If yeah. not, <laughs> I'm just saying, worse can come to worse with I that question. do that. Open relationship. Try that. But don't tell him that. And maybe see if you even still like this guy because I don't know if it's easy to lust after other people when you're, when yeah, you when you love, when yeah. you really love your partner. That's, That's facts. So. That's a crazy one. None of us are engaged, so. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Probably don't have the no. best advice. <laughs> Sorry to all the married people out there. I have a question. Has a gay guy ever hit on you guys? Yeah. Do you guys take it as a comment? Uh. Yeah. I I take it as a comment. I take it as uh, as a big compliment. I'd be like, oh. It's like, you know, like, they'll yeah. go, oh, I really like that shirt. I'm like, yeah, shit. <laughs> yeah. You do. Th thank you. Appreciate you. Is that what happened to me in Newport? Dude, yeah. He's, oh, he, boy. I just dabbed him up. I was like, thanks, bro. Yeah, no, <laughs> I, 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 that's how I could tell. Like, my gator's pretty good. I got a good gator. Mine is too, but I didn't see him. Like, <laughs> yeah. I talked to him a little more. I was like, oh, there's no way. You know what I mean? <laughs> <laughs> The more and more you kept talking to him, I was like, why are you still talking to him? <laughs> Devin liked the attention. Wow. Devin liked the attention. Nah, because I could tell he, no. he had no clue. So but I was like, because Carrie was with me. Wait, what happened? He, he goes like, I had like this, like, uh, this cool, it was cool ass shirt, bro. I'm not going to lie. Fuck yeah. So um, I was just, I was talking to Carrie and then uh, him and this girl, I like, came up to me and Carrie and they're like, oh, what's up guys? Like, what you, like, what are you guys doing? Where are you guys from? What school? All that. So we started talking and he was like, bro, I fuck with your shirt. He like that. that? He said it like that. He said, he said, bro, I fuck with your shirt. That shit's sick. He's like, did you thrift that? And I was like. I got it online, dude. This shit was like 12 bucks, you know what I mean? And then we just kept talking. And then the next day, Sage is like, bro. And I was like, what? <laughs> yeah, no. It just because it kept going. I saw, I, I, I he's like, oh, dude, I like, I like your hair, bro. Like, I really oh, like it. Oh, and I was like, and oh, yeah, he, yeah, he said, he said that. that. <laughs> but he's like, oh, I like your hair. Like, um, oh, yeah. I want to do that too. Like, I want to, I want to look like you. And I was like, wait a minute. This guy's going a little too far. <laughs> he had a bandana though. He had a bandana. Uh, I passed by you guys and I saw y'all talking. And oh, I think, all right, maybe it was, it was, I saw y'all talking and I was like, I think I overheard when he commented your hoodie. And I was like, oh, that's just tough. And I came back and y'all were still talking. And I was like, oh, like, yeah. cool, 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 cool. Yeah, no, it was just, it was just like, I thought you knew him. I thought you knew him. No, he looked like some guy in my class. I thought it was him at first too, but it wasn't. No. Nah. Go ahead. Guys, that night, Oh, actually, never mind. Just say it. I know you want to say it. Just say it. No, it was just, I had a very funny, never mind. Story? Well, I didn't think I would actually genuinely see this in real life. But you know the Duke Dennis, the 
the Riz move where he was like, he was like, like this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, you want some guy like that? So would he try that too? And not even once, <laughs> twice. <laughs> So like I saw, yeah, like, wait, how do you how do you how do you do it? How do you do it? Like, look at the camera and do it. How do you do it? Like, did you do the eyebrow? He was staring mad hard. So like, it's hard not to stare. It's hard not to stare when like you know they're staring mad hard. So like I looked right, and he did it, and he he was like 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 this, and I was like fuck no. So I pretended like I pretended like I didn't see him. So I was just like this, and then. I caught eyes with him accidentally again, and he did it one more time. Dude, is that when he came up to me and you're like, "Those guys keep staring at me like all the way in the corner." The two guys. Yeah, you came up to me. You told me something. I was like, "Okay, just like." It was making me uncomfortable. Bro, doing that shit twice is crazy. Twice is wild. That and that was really bad. See, the way like, you did it. Staring is okay, I think, oh, okay. but like when you're staring mad hard, I'm like, "Fuck!" Like yeah, it gives me anxiety. Bad. If you lock <laughs> eye contact, and then they look away, don't try and keep staring. <laughs> don't try. It was very awkward, man. Too. Just do it harder the second time. <laughs> Does it move? Did you do it like mad quick? Was it kind of like, like, cause you obviously, or did you, you get what I mean? Or did, did I you think just... it was exactly like what you just did. <laughs> <laughs> That's why I was like, damn, like. You got, cause you kind of have to do it quick if it's like a quick eye contact type thing. Cause you <laughs> like, gotta make sure she that. sees. I get that. I just think maybe at the. Maybe that's why I look goofy. Maybe that's why I look goofy. Yeah. You know, if you give it more time, maybe it would have looked better. Yeah, yeah. If you would have given it more time, you could have done the. What or was, maybe, or maybe just do don't do it at the bars. Was he attractive dude or no? Was he attractive? Well, he wasn't my type. Well, was he a good looking guy or no? Uh, to me, he wasn't. Okay. Then, he, then it wasn't gonna work yeah, either way. What if he thinks that you didn't see him? <laughs> you just keep. <laughs> I, I think that's what it was, but I, like, I don't know. But you, you saw him. You made. A, you locked him. eyes. Dude, you got. You got to know. I ain't that gonna point. lie though. I would feel like the shit if a girl came over after I did this, dude. I feel like I'm. I'm but could I'm, you follow I'm, it up? I'm him? Nah, no way. She's not coming over. I'd walk the other way. And I'm walking the other way. Bro, she's coming. She's coming. <laughs> <laughs> I would say that. No, I would say that. I would Dude, say what do I do? What do I do? She's coming. coming. What do I say? Hey. 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 What are you drinking? And that's pretty much it. Can I, I get you one? That. The conference was um, inspiring, though. You've met, have inspiring. you guys met a guy with like 10 out of 10? I don't want to even say that. Riz. I hate saying that. Ah, uh, yeah. 10 out of 10 Riz, like unspokenly. Like, like, no, no, no. Oh, okay. <laughs> It's so spoken right there. <laughs> <laughs> no. uh, just like, like, game, just game, game like, game like he, yeah, like, like you've never like experienced like, that. Man's just had it, like, just had it. I and were they attractive? Can I think real quick because I feel yeah. like I do have a moment like this. Okay, wait, yes, I got one. I got one. Um, and yes, he he was attractive though. Like he was like probably like a ten out of ten. Ten out of ten is kind of crazy. Yeah. No, but that, okay, okay. Where okay. was it? It was at a rave. Oh, I was with Bubba and Itzel, and we were just walking to the next. Hold set. on, hold on. Were you sober? Yeah, that's right. how I was gonna ask. I was rolling. Uh, no, doesn't count. Doesn't count. Doesn't count. Really? Okay. Y'all want to hear the line though? All right, let's hear it. Like we were passing Body, by. Body, this is a white guy shirt. I'm mad. <laughs> okay, <laughs> no, no. fuck. See. Let me hear. No, 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 no. This don't, is don't why I'd be say scared it, of it. saying shit because you guys clown me no, for no, no, it. No, no, no. Say it. Say it. You're on drugs, so you okay, already you have your out. Okay, you say it first, and then Sage is gonna drugs, Sage is gonna say it secondly, and then I'm gonna find out after Sage repeats it. Okay. Okay. Go ahead. Okay. So. <laughs> say it how he said it too. Um. Like the tone. You know what I mean? No, I'll try. Just, but just it was. Modded, modded, go. I think it's also his voice was really deep. Just pretend my voice is and he's like, he was like, um. <laughs> it was like, oh no, I don't want to say it. Stop. Just say it. No, I want it. I want it. <laughs> okay. He was like, damn girl, right? <laughs> Wait, no, no, no. I don't. <laughs> no, no one look at her. No one look at her. Everyone, no look, away. Everyone look away. Everyone look away. Everyone look away. He said like, damn girl, or something like that. And then he was like, you're really beautiful, right? And I, <laughs> you're giving me the side. <laughs> keep going. Keep going. That's ten out of ten. Right now, right, right now he's a three out of ten. <laughs> Imagine it's a deep ass voice. And then I was like, oh, thank you, right? And he, and then he was like, that's all I needed to tell you. And that's it. And he walked away. And I, <laughs> <laughs> it's that easy. Okay, maybe it is because uh, I was I rolling. Got you. Okay. And I dead ass thought, I dead ass thought that was my soulmate for a moment. Okay, wait, say it. Oh, you did tell us about this guy. You told us about this guy. Yeah, yeah. Repeat that. Repeat you that. Go back to him. Oh, oh, let me tell you. Let me tell wait, you. Wait, do it. Wait, do it. No, no, you're walking past him. You're walking okay. past him. Okay, I'm walking past. But I'm gonna imagine. I'm gonna sit yeah, down and imagine. imagine. imagine oh, the stage. Oh. I can't even look this way. Okay, go, go. okay. Damn girl, you really beautiful. <laughs> wait, wait, you gotta say it in the mic, bro. I can't hear anything. I can't hear anything. I can't hear anything. <laughs> what? I can't hear you. It's laying here. Okay, go, okay, go, go, go. Damn girl. <laughs> you look really beautiful. <laughs> 
Thank you. No, no, say thank, thank you. Thank I, you. Yeah. That's all I want to tell you. Bye. Marty. <laughs> okay. Sorry. Ah, uh, uh, but Tom spoke and that himself, dude. That shit was. Maybe. Trash. <laughs> That's. This wait, is wait, why wait, I wait, 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 let me ask you, let me ask you, yeah, why, okay, do you why do you call it, why do you call it 10 out of 10, because that, that's not even a line, that, there's no, no, I like, said, no, I said he was a 10 out of 10, like, oh, so the Riz wasn't a 10 Riz out of 10, Riz wasn't a 10 out of 10, oh, it just but, okay, was because he's good okay. looking, also it's because, okay, after that, like, as we were walking away, I was like, what the fuck, right, so I turned to it, so I was like, that's it, like, that's all, like, all he's gonna say Pull the Drake like, and Josh on you. Yeah. Oh my, this is what I talked I about. I realized, I realized. This is, this is yeah. why it's the best because it nah, left her like questioning. Nah, that's but it. like it only worked with him though. Because he's good and, looking. I guess so. And so I said that loud enough to my friend. I was like, that's it, loud enough so he could hear it. And then as he was walking away, like we both turned around at the same time. Like, what did he like, do? He came back. And then he was like, he was like, he did that. Oh, <laughs> Oh my god, this sounds so bad. But like he did that like come here thing, right? So I was like, nah, like you come here, like because I'm not gonna walk to him. And he ended up walking to me and giving him his number. And that's why I thought he was my soulmate. But okay, yeah. Well, <laughs> but he was not definitely Valley. not my soulmate. No, damn girl. <laughs> <laughs> you know what? You 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 so damn pretty. You so okay, pretty. That's all I want to tell you. I think I added the girl just to make it sound a little better, but I feel like it backfired. He just said damn. He just said, I think he was just damn. like damn. It's yeah. just because it's just because he's attractive. Damn, that, that plays a huge part. I yeah, feel like. if a dude's attractive, yeah, that plays a it plays part. multiple. Go, and, go, he go, doesn't, and he doesn't chase you, but he leaves you with a compliment. It's always gonna leave you question. I think I was also his voice. This question is: How do you let go of a three-year sneaky link when you think they're your soulmate? No, oh, Jesus Christ, dude! Let's I go. got this. I got this same exact like question where it was like. How do I cut off my sneaky link even though they're the love of my life? How, fu well, how does that work? I think the reason why y'all think your sneaky links are your soulmates is because they don't give they don't give you like that much attention. Like they give you spurts of attention. So that makes you hooked to them. Addicted to them. Girl, I've been there before. I thought he was my soulmate. Nah. A sneaky link? That's just... Hmm? You thought a sneaky link was your soulmate because they bombarded you with or like... I felt like I was falling in love. But that's because... They're your sneaky link, and it's like a psychological thing. It's a it's constant like chase. It's like conditioning, I'm yeah. telling you. It's a constant chase. I think you're yeah. always going to yeah. chase for attention, and then they're going to give it to you, and then not. I say break you. it off. Obviously, you want to break it off for a reason. Or so. get brainwashed. <laughs> Honestly, they need to start doing that shit. Or just date them. Or That is true. Or you can let them know you're like in love with them. I don't know. Or just pretend like you don't like them. See if it comes with you. But three years is a really God, long so time. Many, so many options. A three year sneaky link? That's kind of cool. That's dating. Yeah. Three, yeah, three, three years, years is link? fucking yeah. wild. That's kind of commitment at some point. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's commitment. <laughs> That's real life commitment. If it was three years, they could have been like, let's say like when the guy is it's a guy or a girl. I don't know. Okay. Well, let's say she's a girl, right? Yeah, yeah I think it's a girl. It's a girl. And the guy like could have gotten like multiple girlfriends during that three period and then only hit her up when... Almost. When only hit her up when he wasn't dating them anymore, you know? Because like I feel like sneaky links are like that. Like they hit you up once they're single again, or you y'all could also be fucking during the relationship. I had a sneaky right. link for three years. Three years straight. Like they know you're three years. Uh, three years time. straight. No, nobody else. Oh, three years not straight. That's three what I'm saying. Straight. I'm not talking about like breaks and stuff. I'm t I'm saying if this is like straight three years. Yeah, this is your boyfriend. That's I your don't boyfriend. Know what to tell you. Sorry, honey, but you got a whole ass man. That ain't no sneaky link. Definitely talk to them. Like tell them that you actually have feelings for them because what could go like if it goes wrong then you end that relationship and you end that sneaky link like the biggest thing that you have to do is stop fucking them yeah that's where it starts protect your seed <laughs> oh god dude oh god bro you got it you gotta watch it man i'm t i'm gonna lay something on y'all um um intercourse is the most intimate thing you can do with somebody protect it true <laughs> Protect your seed. Don't be spraying your seed everywhere or in anything. Don't go spraying <laughs> your seed everywhere. Keep it. It's your life's energy source. Let it blossom. Celibacy. <laughs> Not willingly. Three years don't <laughs> But yeah. it's still same same purpose. <laughs> same matter. serves the same purpose though. Yeah, that's your man's. Um you just haven't acknowledged it yet. Uh, I see I wouldn't say that. I wouldn't say that though. Don't get so confident. Because people I feel like a guy or girl could love the fact that they get to be with someone and not be serious. Like just, Dude, just like, have sex with them. Bro, if it's like I said, if it's three years straight, there's no way you can you can't develop some feelings. sort of feelings for that. Unless you're just numb. Nah, but Mario had a good point though. 
like she seems attached this is by the way she wrote it but it's kind of like maybe he has been because they're just sneaky links maybe she's been messing around with a few other people and then or he has been and then once they like cut him off he knows that she's still attached like, so he keeps there. going back yeah. yeah like that he knows that she will have that attachment you know what i mean oh that makes sense that makes sense yeah. what would you recommend just leave um just gotta get just out of admit their feelings but be ready to lose yeah lose that person because yeah. i mean that's the only thing you can do at that point unless you're cool with just being sneaky, sneaky links are dangerous high key they, they are very dangerous because yeah you can fall for them but not like in a healthy way that's so yeah so true rice on <laughs> <laughs> yeah bro I mean, that shit happens to me all the time yeah oh sean keep your willy in your pants you <laughs> sicko <laughs> okay this one is kind of like maybe for my younger person but i wanted to put this question in because like i know some people have like different feelings about this but like they said i'm debating on whether i should wait to have a boyfriend for my first kiss or do it with like a sneaky link i'm i'm an advocate of just getting that shit out of the way i'm not gonna lie <laughs> what do you mean by that like, get it out of that sounds so like ass. bro because i feel like if you you're just gonna start thinking about it you're gonna want to be with the right person and the right time and then eventually oh, okay. you're gonna get older and then you're just gonna keep building that shit up in your head when it's not that serious Yeah, his thing is that i know what you're trying to make you, uh they're gonna make like a whole scenario in their head where it should be like the perfect kiss. The perfect kiss, okay. Yeah. And then in reality, it could just be like that. And yeah. so with, and then your expectations just drop. Oh, perfect is perfect. You're there's no such, like, thing, there's as no such thing as a perfect, wow. perfect kiss. that was so cute. I like that. Uh, I think it comes down to if you're either like really excited or really nervous. If you're really nervous, get that shit out of the way. Yeah, think, if you're excited, yeah. maybe wait till a certain moment. But I think if there's a moment yeah, with yeah. somebody and you're like, damn, I really want to kiss them, do it but if it's if you're like i really want to kiss them but they're not my boyfriend or like but like nah, we're not under the it. stars in hawaii then it's like what are you doing like yeah. just do it you know do it you're just gonna keep yeah yeah you're just gonna keep thinking about it and i feel like you're just gonna get in your head and that's, that's what i used to think it's coming from a girl right yeah I, yeah i think oh. i think though it just depends on like especially the age like i think when you're like younger in high school like um or I don't know. When did you guys have your first kiss? I had mine pretty young. Eighth grade. I, think I was in kindergarten. Oh, yeah, I was in eighth grade too. Yeah. No, so we're all pretty like the same age. Yeah. But mine was just like the guy I was like dating at the time. So like to me it was like okay like <coughs> it feels better than doing it with somebody else. But I feel like if I was a freshman or like a sophomore in high school, even like a junior senior, and I didn't have a boyfriend yet, like I think I would want to get it out of the way with like someone to that has no pre it's no pressure that way. Yeah, I feel like there's more pressure when you're thinking about right time, right person. And it's always, I think, even if you think your first kiss isn't uh, good, when you look back on it later in life, it's, it's always good because it's funny or it's magical yeah. or it was stupid. Exactly. Like, at the end, you have a story either way. You're going to have yeah, a story either way. Remember your first kiss? Uh, yeah. Oh, God. You did? <laughs> I was harassed. <laughs> oh, yeah, you did say that. Everybody remembers this? Yeah. See? It was, uh, yeah, <laughs> <laughs> See, if anything bad, too, bro. I don't remember like if it was good or bad. I just remember <laughs> I just remember like, oh, like this was a nice moment and it, I'm glad it I'm it it's over with now. Yeah. You know? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, that shit makes me laugh so hard when I think about yeah, it. You're always you're always too. gonna like look back at it and laugh, honestly. So don't don't be so worried about having your first kiss. Was your first kiss with like the love of your life or was it just like random dude it was a guy that i didn't really like mm. do yeah. you regret that no nah, because the kiss right? was still fire in the it, <laughs> <laughs> hell yeah in the moment did you feel like a, a sort of way because i feel like the person asking this question might feel that way no i always knew i didn't really like him that much so but it wasn't like oh my god like heart fluttering or anything but it was a good kiss yeah. All the guys are like, oh, yeah, like, I just told, I remember I told you, I was like, yeah, I guess what happened? No, I was, I was lit. <laughs> I just got harassed. <laughs> <laughs> that was yours. <laughs> it, wasn't, it wasn't that bad, but I know I was hyped because, uh, yeah, I told him, we were, where were we? We were at the, I think we were at the mall. I know they hit the, let's go. <laughs> I hit that right in the middle of the mall, man. I was Not, so hyped. <laughs> you were like, what'd you say? <laughs> it happened in the mall? No, no, no. We were out the next day. We went uh, to the mall. Okay. And I was thinking the whole time, like, I can't wait to tell this guy. <laughs> <laughs> I can't wait to tell this guy. Did, did, you text him? did you text him before you met up? Like, yo, I got to tell you something, but you got to wait, though. <laughs> no, hey. no, I just, I just dropped it on him. It was crazy. And dropped all like, my bags? Uh, he was like, what? <laughs> 
No way! Yeah. <laughs> so the end of a movie. The jump high five. Yeah. Breakfast Club 2023. Yeah. No, 20, 20, 2017. 20, I don't remember. I don't know. Go ahead. Oh, well, I have two, but the last one's really stupid. So the, I'm <laughs> stupid. the first, okay, the second to last one is, um, I guess this person is asking for advice on what uh, her and her boyfriend should do like after a big fight, like recovering after a big fight. What you should do after a big fight. I wish I knew what they fought about. Drink. It would, yeah, it depends on like. Drink your sorrows away. Uh, <laughs> get some good food. Just yourself? <laughs> no, with your partner. Uh, <laughs> Go to a dinner. After a big fight. After a big fight. That's a terrible idea. Wait, wait after a big <laughs> fight or just a fight? Oh, a big In fight? In a big fight. Oh, dude, I feel like you just gotta let it simmer over. That's another terrible idea. <laughs> what are you gonna do then? Probably talk about it. No, no shit, I'm saying after that. I think the best thing to do after you talk about it is to take some time apart from each exactly. other. Exactly, let it simmer. Oh, they already they already talked about it and it's not good? That was the question? I think so. Well, or clearly, like, we talk about it after each other. Yeah. I'm assuming like if this is after they've talked it all out and like the fight has happened. So how do you because you know how after you fight, it's still like a little awkward. You got to miss the other person, I think. Like, mm -hmm. You got to kind of joke around like you got to hit them with jokes that you guys like kind of. Damn, that, that fight was crazy. I was so right, huh? Some shit like that? Fart? <laughs> <laughs> that fight was so crazy. Oh, no, no, like, no. That like one, jokes you guys have. Like you should do friendly banter that will kind of like, like push yeah, the poke like, the bear a little just bit. Just like a little bit of pokes and then just like kind of chill and then let it pass over a little bit. I, everything. If you guys are if, together still, everything's fine. It's all good. I feel like nothing should be like unless. <laughs> oh, what's that? Unless it's like something involving other people then that's something to think about to yourself. Right. But if it's like just you guys kind of just like butting heads, then have your time together, have your time away. And then I feel like you guys just come back together like when time's right. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Cause I'll be missing. I mean, I'll be like, I miss you after one day. <laughs> that's a good point. You kind of you do have to miss them. Yeah, yeah. I, think, I think missing them is huge. You know? Yeah. Give it time. The biggest thing is give it time. Cause like, last tuesday like me and my boyfriend fought and then i woke up on wednesday and I, I was supposed to get lunch with him but i was just like i can't like i was still too upset about it and like i knew that if i was gonna go and see him then we were probably gonna fight again about the same thing and so like i texted him and i was like you know i really want to come but i really need to take this time away from you because i don't want to let my like insecurities like get the best of me and i don't want it to like lash out on you and like saying that was like a big step in like him understanding because in the past like me asking for like space after we fought he would take that as like she's just trying to like get away from me mm -hmm. you know but like communicating that like helped the a lot the way you said it the way i said the it yeah it. yeah that goes a long way yeah yeah i think after a big fight um i kind of do the same thing as you i'll like poke the bear a little bit yeah but like not too much yeah. <laughs> <laughs> not too much where the bear actually comes out yeah not to where it attacks me you know but um <laughs> i'll do that and then like i'll let it simmer down like i'll kind of give it a little bit like a little bit of space you know what i mean i won't be like overbearing with text yeah and then like once the time is out i'll be like yo um we should go get food whatever and that's what i mean by like, go get food go get dinner like and then kind of just regroup so we get back in the groove of things sometimes i just get yeah. sad I just get it's sad. okay, shoddy. What, what you mean? What you mean? I just get sad. Like after a fight? Yeah, it's because like you're like, damn, you know, I can't text him, or like not that you can't text him, but you know, you can't talk to him like how you usually do. And then I'm just like, ah, uh, you okay, shoddy? I guess I have to wait now. Like, kind of let it pass over. Start uh, kicking shit in your room. <laughs> so, <laughs> those so, shoes that, uh, yeah, that Nick like, has at uh, the wall. And you're just like sad, dude. That's just sad. It's just very sad. Comes with relationship, though. Comes with relationship. What can, can I, you do? Can I ask you guys a question? You guys ever been so mad you punched something? Uh, yeah. About my girlfriend? Uh, yeah. Or just anything? I've never punched uh, anything. Not about my, my girlfriend. girlfriend. <laughs> yeah. no, that's, that's kind of like that's weird. Little, yeah, like maybe <laughs> borderline abusive. Maybe. Wait, wait, not <laughs> no. Punch, no, wait. Not punch your girlfriend. Uh, okay, no, no, no. Obviously not. Yeah, okay, yeah. I know that. I'm just saying well, like... Why did you say abusive? Because you said... Like, my it's, boyfriend punched the me. The fact is... Like, <laughs> <laughs> He's like trying to yeah. trying to get you guys it's to like, admit. Yeah. <laughs> I'm like a narc. Yeah. Do you guys ever like be with me? No, because I'm thinking like me thinking of my girlfriend. I'm mad at her, so I'm gonna I punch something because I'm thinking that about question. that. question so like just that's what it sounded like. Have you ever wanted to just? <laughs> <laughs> Have y'all ever punched a wall? 
Yeah. <laughs> I know. You guys have been I so I mad. Know. I've ne I know he has. Have you? Did you make it's, a hole? It got a little bad. Yeah, but it's just it's just embarrassing shit. I don't even want to say. It. I've never I've <laughs> never like. Is it so over video up. games? Like you know what? It started it started like that, and then it just carried on to everything. Just to like. Not never, never in a relationship, nothing like that. I would never, no one's ever seen me do this. I don't do it in front of people, but like, just like frustration. That's yeah, how sometimes. Jason is too. He like broke his bathroom mirror like a couple months ago, just punched it out. Yeah, like it's just, you know, it's, it's, I, never mind, I shouldn't even say that. It's gonna be bad advice to the people. Wait, like over something about you guys? Or? No, 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 no. This okay, was before yeah. we met. Okay, okay. But like, shit happens like that, you know? Like, where. Yeah, just, I, my anger has definitely got the best. I punched a few brick walls and yeah, I was gonna uh, say, walls. I, I don't think I punched the smartest things. Yeah, because I'm always yeah. hurting after. Yeah. But I, because I, I'd, I'd be smart yeah, to punch one of those. Knuckle, yeah. <laughs> I've never punched or kicked anything from being yeah, like, I angry. I, I was talking not to him angry. about that. I think I just do it for fun. No. Like I know you do that shit for fun. I'm not talking about. I'm not talking about for fun. Oh. Out of anger. Out of anger. I'm talking about. Once, oh. once in a, once in a full moon, I'll do it. Like if I'm I've that it. pissed off, because it's hard for me to get like really angry. But like, there's been very little times where like. I have been pushed my limits and I just like, I'll go like on my own and just hit something. I'll be like, I'm good. The wall been. looks menacing. There's honestly a, a certain type of. It's been a while, man. Like feeling like breaking something valuable. I don't know why. Like I will, like I can't punch a pillow. I gotta, I gotta break something. Like, <laughs> like smash the family picture. We should go to one of those rage rooms. I, dude, I want to go, I wanna go so, so bad. So bad. But yeah, there's, it's gotta be valuable because it just makes you more mad. But then, then you're just like, I don't know. There's, I, I tried doing the whole pillow thing, but I should don't worry. You gotta, you gotta break something. Well, I would throw in three piece combos at my pillow. It's kind of crazy. <laughs> the, have the girls? Have you guys ever been so mad you like punch something or like um, threw something maybe? Yeah. You have? Yeah. Right. You got. You got to. I've you punched, have, screamed. Sorry, dude. Jesus. Some people um, deal with stuff differently. Yeah, I probably punched. You should try it. <laughs> I hear you in your room. I usually like throw something. Throw something. Yeah. Yeah, I learned my lessons once I start started getting hurt though. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> once my wrist started hurting, I was like, I just, yeah, we gotta retire. Hey, it's a nice shirt, by the way. It's my shirt, man. Well, that one's nice. Okay. What about this one? They're both mine. Whatever. This next question is from a guy. They say, my ex did me wrong, and now I have a girlfriend, but I'm still in love with her. It's been over a year now. My ex did me wrong, but I still have a girlfriend. And now I have a girlfriend. But so he, he, he's still in love yeah. with his ex, and it's Break been over a year. <laughs> if you're in love with someone else, even if you can't have them. Dude, you know, I know a lot of, I know a lot of people like that. Yeah. That, uh. Again, back when we were younger, that would just hop in a relationship either to spite the other person or like, what do you call it? To like get their mind off of it. And I just feel so bad because I'm like, how can you do that? How can you do that to somebody else? Like that person who's with you, who's like dating you yeah. now, you know? Yeah. I think at the end of the day, you kind of just look weird. Like we've all had those people, like I feel like in high school it happened a lot. And you look at that person that jumped onto the next one. They're like, oh, like that's kind of weird. They jumped onto the like, next already? person already. Yeah. yeah. And then everybody just kind of just talks about them, and it's like, I wonder if they know though. I wonder like, does that come? Oh, well, sorry. Yeah, I don't know. Do you think like somewhat that they know? Because like I'm like, how? There's no way that they are giving you love like that type of love that you yeah. need. You know, like that's yeah. it's a it's a growing guilt in my opinion. Like um, I feel like when you first hop into it, I feel like that the quick like affection feels good, but then you start like how this person realized like I'm still in love with her. I feel like he low key knows he's hurting the girl he's with. But he's yeah, too afraid to I end think it. he feels a little guilty. That's so sad because everyone outside the relationship kind of knows it. I feel like, like, if you're good friends with that person, you're gonna know. And I think it just sucks to use someone like that. Because, like, you said a year long. Fuck, man, you just wasted a year of that person's time. Yeah. Like that's fucked up. Yeah. So do you think? Do you think that comes with maturity or just the way someone is? Because you know, some people just just do that. I think it comes with like recognizing that there's other things besides yourself. Because I think a lot of people who do it are extremely selfish, you know? And I think a lot of people who do it don't realize that other people can get hurt from this. You know what I mean? They're just thinking like, oh, like I'm going to do this because my ex did me dirty. So I'm going to do her dirty and I'm going to look like I'm having this happy life. And yeah, like maybe it looks like you're having a happy life. And yeah, maybe your ex is jealous, but there's a whole person that you're hurting. I feel like you ruin your chances with the person that you love too. Like there's no point of you getting in that relationship if you're just wanting to go back to the other one. It shows a lot more, like, 
there's probably a bigger chance of her getting back together with you if you had stayed single in that year. Yeah, oh, for and sure. And done some reflection about, like, why your relationship ended. Well, in 100,000%. You're just hurting yourself, too, man. If that's constantly always on your mind, like, that's so deteriorating that sucks, to dude. you and the person. You know what I mean? That's just a two L's. Yeah, man, you're just an L person all around. No, no. <laughs> L There's person. room for growth, my friend, but you got to make the right yeah. moves. Yeah. So I would say end it if you feel that way. Because that's have not motion. fair to the person you're with. Got to have motion. Got to have motion. What the fuck does that mean? Motion. What does motion mean? I see it everywhere. I only know from that YB that? bar. Um, I heard motion is like, just kind of like, I thought I thought it was like getting money though. Is it like, mo- no, because girls say that all the time. Like, oh, it's like, we got to have motion tonight. Like, it's, you got know what I mean? Like, is it moves? I've never heard a girl say motion. I've only heard guys say motion. Uh, you don't know. I heard that like that's like a new thing. Is like girls saying there's gotta be motion tonight or something like that. That is such a guy thing. See, that's why that's why I'm confused and I'm like, <laughs> I got motion. I feel I like I, I feel like I got motion means like I got stuff going on. Yeah, yeah. yeah. That's, like, that's, I, that's I, what, yeah. Like, I'm up though. You can, you can only say it if you're up. You know what's another new slang that I actually like? Like when people say type, like type, type shit, like type but shit. like shorter. You, it's just you can say that to everything. You say that all the time. Wait, what is it? What is it? <laughs> you say no, that all the time. I, 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 like, thought, I thought that was old. Yeah, I say old. like type shit, but like I've recently <laughs> seen, like heard a lot of people say like type, like wait. type, just type. Oh, I'll be like, wait, what are you talking about? Yeah, like uh, well, you got to give me like a like a <laughs> sentence. <laughs> type of what? Do you say anything else with that? Like, is it like like that's a fire song type? I never heard that. <laughs> Wait, I would be mad confused. I would be confused Type too. Of what? I, I was not confused. I got it right away. Wait, yeah, maybe because you use the you use the phrase a lot though. Oh, yeah. maybe. Actually, no. I think I would get it. I would get it. I would get it. But I I would be like, wait. What type of song are you talking about, fam? Oh. Okay. Yeah. See, I don't, if it was on categories like that, yeah, yeah, I don't know. Yeah, if I heard it over and over again, I'd be really confused. <laughs> if he said it one time, I'd be like, oh, I just messed Type up. Of what? He <laughs> just messed up. <laughs> He's just fucked up. <laughs> Yeah, we kept saying type. <laughs> Y'all ever, anyone ever told you guys like some slang and like you had no idea what oh, it was, yeah. but you just played a lot? Okay. You're, let me, no, 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 let me hear, let me hear what? Somebody told me like, that's good bump. And I was like, what? What? <laughs> Baby bump. bump. I don't fuck, I didn't even ask because that person was saying slang, like slang that I didn't get all nice. So I don't want to seem stupid. So I was just, I just, I was like, okay. Like, <laughs> That's a good bump. I don't know. What Were they doing drugs at the time? No, no, no. So I told him. Good bump. Like, something successful happened. And then he was like, that's good bump. He made that of himself for sure. Yeah. I think he missed the word in there. I think he missed. That's a good bump. I think that's or maybe what he, he might have mis- missed. He misspelled it or something. Let me search it up. Nah, typo, typo for sure. Has anyone heard typo. people use like slang incorrectly? Oh, I want to say I have. I want to say I have too. It's really crazy. I, I wish I could remember though, because that shit's funny. Yeah, dude. I I heard someone or er, someone said no cap some, something, and you can say no cap to anything. It pretty much fits in every sentence. And this person said it wrong. Like it was just so disorganized. And it, I was like, holy shit! I've never heard someone use slang wrong before. I'm trying to think what the fucking sentence. It is hard was. to get that wrong. That's sad. You can, yeah. you can throw it on anything. And but this person said it wrong. Cap, but I was like. <laughs> yeah. You guys, some of these like confessions are crazy. Like I got, I stole my stepmom's dildo. I set my best yeah, friend's house on fire. Like, <laughs> how, what the fuck? Are you what is our it? fan base? Man? I don't know. The, our fan yeah. base. Do you know what Aki is? Aki. Oh, the Aki, Aki way. Aki way. Never. What never, does it mean? I don't know. <laughs> I heard you say guys, that. You better like, know. What okay, it means. let me tell you a story. Yeah, like, you said that. Like uh, yo, Ak. In general, you get this with. So like me, Sahar, and Emily, we were all walking, right? And then like there were a group of men and they were like, Oh, those girls are they're they're low key Aki. And we're like, what the fuck does that mean? So, <laughs> so, so we got in the car and we searched it up. We're like, what does Aki mean? Urban dictionary. And it said the first definition was like fake. So we're like, what the fuck? Like that's so fucked up, right? And then we went to meet up with we some eh, with some friends and we asked them, What do y'all think like Aki means? You know? And they were like, Oh, Aki means like <laughs> They gave us a bunch of definitions. They said like it could mean fake, but it also means like, like thick. And and then I was like, okay, that makes more sense because Emily's thick, right? So I was like, okay, that kind of makes more sense. But it also could mean fake. I don't know. But like, I don't know how they would know we're fake when we're. That's um, some like East Coast. Like yeah. that's gotta be East Coast land, dude. I don't yeah, because yeah, General Oxen yeah. in Brooklyn, dog. <laughs> General Oxen. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> 
That's got to be that's got to be East Coast slang. I don't know. Yeah, what yeah. Bro, I know. So when I hear the Aki way though, I hear like it means like good stuff. I thought like, let me get that the Aki way. Yeah. Like let me get that good shit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Wait, but thick makes sense though too. If someone says give me that the Aki way, they, they want something thick. Yeah, give me like that the good shit. I think it says thick a dramatic a dramatic increase in muscles that, that are well toned. <laughs> Nah, I'm going to pass on that one. Give me that. Let's get it the Aki way. Let me get it the Aki I way. Mean, none of us ever say There's this. so many different definitions. It could be positive or negative. So I, I, don't, don't, I don't like slang words like that. I don't like them. I feel like it has to mean something. Right? People will never know what you mean. What about brick? Yo, it's not brick out here. That I like that. Yeah, it's kind of tough. Huh? What does that mean? Do you know what that means? It's cold. Oh, okay. Do you know what that means? Brick? It's not brick, brick yeah. out here? What does it mean? You guys use it all the time in New York. I know what hell it means. Yeah, hell yeah, we did. What Christine said, cold. <laughs> Mad brick outside, son. Mad brick. Okay, next question. Brick and Aki out here. Some of y'all, <laughs> please, <laughs> the question that you guys are asking me, is it bad to have a work crush while being in a serious relationship? Jesus Christ. What are you guys up yeah, to, We talked man? about like, work wives and work What husbands. is up with, it's something in the fucking air in like summer. <laughs> we gotta like, rebrand ourselves, bro. <laughs> Come on, man. Fuck. Yes, it is wrong. I think we need to like switch like the tables around or the aura. Not or very Aki of you guys. <laughs> Stop. I feel like I'm no, genuinely that's Aki because it's fake. Mm, Aki. I'm genuinely convinced you guys don't like y'all's boyfriends. Yeah, what's going on, man? Just get a new when boyfriend. I was with my boyfriends, I never really like fantasized or had like big crushes like that. Uh uh. Yeah, maybe you don't like your boyfriend. Or maybe y'all are like confusing like a crush with just being like friendly, like friendly, or like just finding them like physically attractive. <laughs> no, but, but if you consider a, them a work boyfriend, that is true. It's such a big gap. You're right, and it's hard. I feel yeah. like sometimes it's different. This is the question, but like I feel like with everybody, you have a different idea of like how much attention this person is giving you. Will like make you have a crush on them does that make sense yeah mm. so like it could vary with everyone that like you could be gaslighted into thinking you have a crush right, on them you could gaslight yourself into thinking no that. agree no no no. that's real that's just real that. yeah i agree with that what were you gonna say Devin? um i'm gonna keep it short and simple to the basis of the question if you can consider somebody a work crush while you're in a relationship that's still disrespectful like being able to say i have a work crush is cheating yeah in my opinion i mean i wouldn't let that slide also like i don't know how maybe you guys work at like really boring places that like never get customers but like how do you develop crushes like with your coworkers when you're like always busy like i'm literally <laughs> that's never such a fact, like, booty. Like, that I'm, is such a fact. i'm never talking to my coworkers unless it's about work oh man they gotta be working at arby's or something like that <laughs> or they get, get a new no job. customers making um, making wendy's full for phones <laughs> together huh? yeah Oh wait, I, I, I have a quick question for you guys. Also, kind of off topic. Um, there's a, I we used to talk. I don't know if I was with you, but I was talking to somebody, and they were talking about this. They were, they said that if you're in a relationship and you go drinking with your girlfriend and she gets mad at you at, or starts a problem with you every time you're she's drunk, it means she doesn't fuck with oh, you. Oh yeah. <laughs> Do you guys agree with that? that? Do you agree yeah, with that? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It means yeah. she don't like you. I feel like that would be annoying. I know couples like that. But like, yeah, no, no, you do. Yeah, I that think shit's we fucking crazy. That first hand. You could yeah. tell that she doesn't like him either, because she's also the girl that like I noticed like when we would go out together. Like when I first met her, I had no idea that she was the girlfriend of this guy that I knew, like because of the way that she was acting in the bars. Like, oh, was she like being flirty and shit? Yeah, oh, like shit. she was. She was completely <laughs> across the bar. I could see her on the other side of the bar, like talking to like two guys, and they like bought her drinks and stuff. Oh, that's bro. so wild these yeah. are such obvious like that is just fucking yeah out of this world. but i feel like yeah. a lot of guys experience shit like that and just like don't say anything Dude, like if girls, you experience yeah. that man that is fucking depressing yeah i hope i never go out with somebody and that shit happens and they're just like oh man what, what should i do what do you mean what you should do like <laughs> drop this fucking girl do you like, think he like gave her permission to get free drinks from other guys no he didn't. I got. I asked for clarification because I was confused. Yeah. <laughs> get your money up, man. Look at your take. Yeah, honestly, no. <laughs> They're not together anymore. That's but like, crazy. yeah. But do you guys agree with that too, though? Like, you guys, like, if if your girl starts to fight with you every time she drinks, it means that she don't fuck with you. Like, when you guys are out, or or together, or just or maybe just drink it at home, bro. Be, but it depends what type of fight. I think some girls that are drunk start fights for attention yeah. from 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 their man. 
And then some people will just like hate the man when they go out. I think there's two <laughs> different types. Like is girl, that why? Is that what you're saying? Most girls start fights when they're drunk because they want attention. Oh, dude, I mean, I think I think it's I think it goes both ways. If a girl starts a fight and she's entertaining everybody else but you, that's different. I don't think she fucks with you. No, if she starts a fight and she's just pissed off, yeah. And but like the attention's on you. Yeah, yeah. I think she wants. She just attention wants from attention from you. From you. Yeah. Man, why do y'all do that? Why why are you guys yeah, gotta just do have that, a good man? time? If you if you start in a fight, it's fight with everybody. Yeah. Most with your boyfriend. I feel like some girls also um, start fights because they're just um, always keeping it in and never telling their boyfriend. And when they're on drugs, they're like, oh, it's easier for them to like blow up. So there's guys, multiple reasons. You ever start a fight because you were bored? Mm, I don't think so. <laughs> I don't like. <laughs> <laughs> Christine. Like, well, Christine. I don't think bored, but like, yeah, in high school I have. Okay, well, high school, that's fine. School, you do a lot of stupid Like shit. what? Like you were just typical Monday and you were just like, I finished all my homework. I got time today. I got time today. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I would like fuck around and make him drive up all the way up to my house. Just because you were bored. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God. That's fucking crazy. You guys, I told you I was fucking crazy. That's I was fucking insane. Like, way, yeah, friend. I've come a long way. What about you? Not even in high school? No, for boredness, no. It was mostly for the reason Sean, for attention. For attention. But in high school, no. Because he wasn't giving you enough attention. So yeah, you were starting fights. Part. Out of high school, no. Y'all ever, and the fellas, y'all ever start fights for attention or because you were bored? I think in high school I might have, but after, once high school literally ended, all that shit's out the window. No excuses. I love how everybody was super toxic in high school. I don't think I've ever met like a very like non-toxic. I wasn't. Because you were never in a relationship. Okay. So don't. So don't. Okay. Well, well don't rope me in with everyone then. Okay. I met like everybody that was in a relationship in high school. I've never met somebody that was very healthy. Yeah. Name one, y'all. High school relationships are like crazy. Goofy. Yeah. They're always yeah, they always crazy. Goofy. Fucking insane. But anyways. That's, That's very a great true. point. Very yeah. true. It's all them hormones. That just become a sassy king, man. Yeah, it gets better. <laughs> but also, don't have Amen, work brother. crushes. <laughs> Going back to the question. Yeah. Not for sure. Don't have work crushes. No. Don't have crushes. Period. Yeah. <laughs> what the fuck is that? He's celibate. Oh, yeah. Celibus. Yeah. What is it? Celibus. Celibate. 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 Celibus is the thing they gave on the first day of class. On. I had one of those in my backpack. Never used it. Never used. You're supposed to turn it in. You're supposed to take, you're supposed, you're supposed to take a test on that. Right? <laughs> nah, man. Imagine failing a class because you didn't take like the syllabus quiz. That's just crazy. That's crazy. I'm, I'm that guy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. But I would also, but I would make it up. I'd be chilling. Like, any, any way I can make up the syllabus quiz. Okay, what do you do if you secretly hate your friend's boyfriend? Distance yourself. From your friend, though. Yeah. Mm. But I'm gonna get the hint. Depends on if they keep complaining about the guy, girl. What if what if you just don't what if you just don't like them like they don't complain about them to you but like if I don't if I just don't like them like eh, I don't really like this person no I, you just keep it keep it uh what do you, what is it cordial cordial would you ever tell me if you don't I like my like girlfriend girl? yeah Uh it just depends how much you like her if you guys are like having fights I'd probably drop in right there and be like yeah like she ain't worth it <laughs> but if you guys if you're like in love with this girl I'm what cool. if what if <laughs> Like, she never did anything weird to me, but, like, let's say maybe she was, like, jealous of our relationship, and she just always rubbed you the wrong way. Would you ever tell me? Like, nah, Yoba, that's up like, to you to figure out, man. I'm not going to, like, drop hints, because then you're probably going to stop hating me. If you love a girl so much, you'll get brainwashed, bro. Anyone will. I think they will. So, I would leave it up to you to decide. Like, hopefully, at some point, you'll be like, it's a little crazy. Yeah. I'm but, like, like you- what if she only does it, like, when I'm not around, though? You know what I mean? Like, y'all passing in the hallway, using the restroom, and she's, like, looking at you all weird, slighting you. Damn, I'd be fucking pissed. Exactly bro. what I'm saying. Exactly what I'm saying. Would you tell me then? No, nah, I would keep my composure. Really? You wouldn't ever tell she me wa- that. She wants me to, bro. She's want. She wants me to get mad at you so oh. that you get mad at me. I-, I got this shit in the bag. I'd act like an angel ahead guy. of his time. Smart guy. But I would. I would like fuck like what? with Wait, you guys. What? Relationship. No, with you guys' relationship. With you guys' relationship. With you guys' relationship. My bad. My bad. You would or you wouldn't? I would. Oh, I'd, you ma- I'd make her look bad. You'd make her look bad. If she's, if she's trying to do some shit to me, I could play that game. I'd be super composed. Okay, toxic. Key. Oh. <laughs> yeah, I feel like Sean would get really nasty. Like, no, like, Sean, would have a, Sean would have a whiteboard in his room and have like the thread, the needles. The red he would have the, Yeah, everywhere. he would have everything. Have you guys seen the guy on TikTok that he's like, yeah, I got, he's like, he has a pie. And he's like, yeah, we just got this cream pie. He's like, hell. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Like, yeah. 
<laughs> Why are you thinking about that right now? <laughs> no, I don't know. Yeah, no, that's what I <laughs> he ate green beans and he But was isn't that crazy? Like, what if you guys' girls secretly fucking hated you guys or your best friend? Like, what if, like, behind Sage's back, she gave you the nastiest look? She said the nastiest things to you, but Sage would never believe you because, like, Sage thinks his girl's wait, a sweetheart. Wait, 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 so you're saying Sage's girl hates you, but she she's does? such a no, <laughs> she's such a such a sweetheart. Like when Sage is around, but when Sage is gone out the room or whatever, oh. she's saying some crazy shit to you, but Sage is never gonna believe you. Cause he'd be like, she would never say that. No bro, I need to switch genders really quick. <laughs> <laughs> these like, hands, what do you call them? What do you call it? These, these, hands, these are, hands are bisexual. <laughs> <laughs> I think uh, no I way. Think I would I tell you, bro. Him. Yeah, there's I would no tell way. you, bro. I'm telling you now. I would tell you if you didn't take my. You side. already know my answer. This guy tells me that I'm gonna I'm be like, yo, like that's my girlfriend. Like you can't. Yeah, be, see, not you can't have some respect. You can't have some respect for my girlfriend. This, this, <laughs> like, bro, just record it in your pocket or something. Like, like show me. You know, I mean, because I, I would believe it. Be like, you know what, bro? That does sound mad b convincing. But just be like. Have your phone propped up one day. Just if Nick's in love, bro, it's it's game over, man. He's not believing a word out of my mouth anymore. <laughs> would you believe me if I told you? Yeah, I would. I would believe Sweet. my best friend. Wait, off rip pretty hard. Off rip, that's like, yo, bro, like, kind of like is weird to me, like when you're not around. Yeah, because he would never give me like a reason to so, not believe so, him. But then you tell you talk to your girlfriend about it, and she's like, what? Like, no. I'm like, oh, that's weird. Yeah. He has you on camera. I said I would believe my best friend for sure. Yeah. yeah. I don't think anybody's gonna be like, yo, they just called me a bitch, like for no reason. What if it's undetected type stuff? She just makes little snarky comments and Sage is just like she's just joking like around. Motherfucker or something. No, she just says something to you like something that rubs you the wrong way, but she mean it. Like maybe it's about I your mean, style. Like, okay. Like you you're wearing something and she's kind of, what would you say? I'd probably be like, Okay, you'll find out soon how this person really is. Because true colors always come out at one point. That is true. That is true. Factual. People are unbelievably It'll slip up. It'll slip up. Blinded by love, though. Yeah, like unbelievably blinded by love. Like, yeah. No, I would, I would, I would, I would, I would tell you though. I'd run to you if like your girl was ever mean to me. Did you hear what she said? Yeah, yeah, I would run straight to you, man. <laughs> break up, break up, break up. <laughs> that's funny, man. That that's some crazy shit, though. That would suck. That would really suck. Some girls are psychotic, bro. I I had a friend, man, and her his girlfriend was fucking psychotic, and like we, he like just cut me off completely. It was crazy, like. Like hop online together and you like he'd answer a call and he'd have to he would just like get offline. I went to his house and he like didn't tell his girlfriend I was there. Like I was just hanging out with him. Oh shit! Yeah, it was crazy. Even it was just crazy. having like his guy friend over was yeah, like, like it was good. And she was like out of town. It was crazy, bro. Like she was fucking psychotic, but like he was honestly just blinded by love in my eyes. Yeah, because like I think it's like he got this crazy attention from this girl and stuff like that. So I didn't I didn't really trip. I was just like all right, man, you're. I was just fucking crazy, but the good must be really good. Must be really good. Some people are just some people are just blind, man. Y'all think that's a real thing, like the power of the coochie? The no, wait, what? Oh, I thought that's. I thought me. that's what you were talking about. What are you on about? <laughs> oh, wait, what, wait, what thought... are you talking about? The wait, good wait. and the good and the bad and the bad. Oh, I oh, thought... I thought you meant good like coochie. <laughs> I wasn't. <laughs> I don't even know, like the coochie you? must yeah, be really good. Topic the whole time. Huh? Were we on this topic? No, time? right when he said that. When he was like, he was like, the, the good, good must, must be good. good. I thought you. I meant... meant like the goods, like. No, like the good must be like good. the good moments. Yeah, or the good moments. About, what are you talking yeah, about? What are you talking about? I thought you were talking about pussy. You guys, you guys talking about coochie, coochie, right? Dirty my <laughs> dirty suckers. <laughs> There's a difference between the secure attachment people and the uh, problem, the problematic uh, one. Damn. I'm secure. So I'm secure. So <laughs> nah, the power to power to coochie is real. It is real. Thing. Like good, like. Fire coochie will make you do crazy things. I feel like that's the same for like the power of the dick. Why you gotta say that word, bro? <laughs> the power with the. You could use any oh, other word. Ew. What? what I, the power of the penis? Okay, that sounds better. Ew, no, no, Have it you doesn't. ever felt like, like, oh, I can't stop fucking this guy though? Because I've never really felt that. Like you would do anything for like, you know what I mean? Like oh you would God, do anything. Oh my God, that is crazy. That, <laughs> that's power of the coochie. Coochie does that. You do anything for the dick? <laughs> no, 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 no. But there was a time where I was like, damn, like, not, the sex didn't hit as good as, like, that one person. I would think about it for, like, a long time. Wait, I'm talking about different powers then. <laughs> what powers are you talking Because so, some coochie would make me do, like, 
No, I guess I am talking about what you're talking about. Okay, what is the craziest thing you would do for coochie? <sighs> like drive, like really nah, far away. Nah, snitch your homie out. That's what you would do. How long? How long? What's wrong with you, man? Because that's what you do. You yeah. can get Nick to talk. How if, hey, if Nick is ever a criminal, and you need to get this man in jail and you need him to confess, send him a bad bitch. How and he long? will confess everything to How this long? woman. Would you drive for the power of the coochie? For like the best coochie I've ever yeah, had? Yeah, yeah. It's a road trip, huh? <laughs> <laughs> How far would you go to see Be her? honest. I might make a rest stop or two. <gasps> so rest that's like stop? That might. Four hour, at least a four hour drive <laughs> there. Honestly, honestly, I got nothing to do that day. <laughs> I'm, and I'm being so dead ass. Let's actually put this. Like, is it an average day or I got nothing you to got do? You got nothing to do. Can I stay the night? Or do I have to come right back? No, yeah, you can. Because I saw this thing on TikTok, this girl that was like, she lives in Arizona. She used to set her locations on Tinder to California and she would drive out here every weekend to like meet guys. Oh my God. Okay, wow. That is kind of wild. Oh, uh, you would go. If you could but say like, the night, why did she far. do people around her? Arizona. People want to be with California I'm people? I'm thinking real life, three and a half, three and a half hours. Cause I'm thinking like I'm thinking like oh would I drive to I was like I was like would I drive to San Diego for it and I'm like yeah I would I would but San Diego is like further it's closer than three hours. Would you drive? Okay, let's say she lived in Palm Springs. That's Damn. four hours. And you're driving to dirt. You know what? I'm lying. I wouldn't drive that far. Yeah, I'm lying. It's a lot. Palm Springs is actually San very Diego's far. beautiful. That's why. Oh, like, you really? I would drive to San Diego. That's like an hour and a half away. Hour forty five two yeah. pushing two. Yeah. And you can okay. stay the night. And I can say the night, yeah, yeah, yeah. But Palm Springs, you know what? You got a point. I'm not driving that far. No, yeah. If you're taking a road trip for some coochie or dick, I feel like you got a problem. Mm. But how far? How far are you driving? How, how far are you driving for like a, like a hookup? The nah, let's do a hookup. Let's not do the. Let's do a hookup and the best. A hookup. Ooh. Um, the furthest I've driven is to LA. Forty-five. Yeah, it took like 30, 30. I was living in Anaheim. So to like 35 minutes, 40 35. minutes. I think for hookup, like 30 minutes. Because I do like driving, but after the 45 minute mark, that's when I start hate driving. Yeah, hating driving. it's a good mean average. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I think that 45, when I see that 45 minutes on my Google Maps is going to discourage me. Yeah. And I'm not going to go. I'll do, I'll do, I'll do 35. Oh, I don't think I'm doing 35. <laughs> it's a long drive. I hated driving. You know what? Away. I'm saying 20 minutes. I was going to say 20. I'm saying 20 minutes. But for the best coochie. <laughs> you just said San Diego. I do two, two full hours. That's, I do two. That is a big jump. Yeah. Two I feel full like, hours. Damn. I feel like it shouldn't be such a big of a jump. Like, for the best coochie. Two hours. Well, let's ask, let's ask the relationship people. Let's say your girl. How far does your girl have to be? Let's say she's she's gone for a month and you are dying for it. How far are you driving? <laughs> please, please, spare far, some coochie. How far are you driving? <laughs> Obviously, if she got her crib in Palm Springs, I'm going to Palm Springs. <clears throat> yeah, it's Las beautiful out there. <laughs> Las Vegas for one night though, because she flies Las out the next Vegas. day. Las Vegas. She's in Vegas for she's in Vegas for, for two months for business or some shit. No, 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 no. Let's say, but you can only stay the night and you have to come home. Let's say she's 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 in Vegas. Just, yeah, but you can't stay there because her family's coming. Yeah, the next you can't day. stay there for like the weekend. Or I would fly to Vegas for my boyfriend. <laughs> Is she in Vegas? And it, it, but it can only be for like literally one. Is it flying or driving? You have to drive. You'd have to drive. You'd have to drive. You have to drive. They don't got plane tickets that weekend. You can't. I drive. Damn. Damn. And I have to come back the same day. Next no, day. Next you day. Could, you could, you have to come back the next day. I think I'd go to see my girlfriend. I think I would go. Yeah, yeah I would go. Arizona, six yeah. hour drive. For a, a day. And a half, four and a half. No, the Arizona drive is far. It's Six, it can get pretty bad. Phoenix, Arizona. Especially with traffic, bro, because it's not like it's a smooth drive, brother. It's it's traffic. They got a cool gas station. Okay, halfway so up. we're just talking about one night. This is Basically, one night, man. Your girl calls you and says, "I, I really want you Phoenix. right now." <laughs> I'm like, baby, it'll take about six hours, but I'll be there as soon as possible. <laughs> you can't get it right now, but but oh, you wait. Yeah. <laughs> oh, you wait. <laughs> no, you wait. <laughs> Text him while driving. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> Uh, yeah, fuck it. I'm down. <laughs> These guys are fucking crazy. Yeah, they're fucking lying. <laughs> no, I no, we're secure. <laughs> <laughs> Model, you drive? Uh, well, never mind. We're all, we're all the single side, so. <sighs> Dude, eight hours is fucking wild. Okay, though. eight's insane. It's because, like, when am I going to see her far. again? It's a m couple months. Oh, couple yeah. Couple months? I, yeah, I'm, I'm for yeah, sure driving. Yeah, I'm driving. I'm driving. What if it's one month? One month. I'm still driving. Two weeks. I'm still driving. <laughs> Two weeks, no way. God, you're going to see him that Thursday. <laughs> <laughs> it's a Monday. <laughs> Two weeks? One week. <laughs> One week I'm not going. Two weeks? You can't wait two weeks? <laughs> no. <laughs> God damn. 
Two weeks is already a long time. Like, Jason's going to Canada at the end of May for two weeks. Oh, my. You going to drive up? I was supposed to go to Oregon. Like, and we were supposed to be in Oregon at the same time. You going to drive up to Oregon or catch so a flight? So I was going to see him while I was up there. You going to catch a flight or a drive? No, I was supposed to go to University of Oregon for, like, a uh, thing. And he was going to be in Oregon at the same dogs, time. Huh? So we were like, right? let's meet up. That's fucking crazy. Right, go Ducks. That's, that's two weeks shit. is a long time. Honestly. Two weeks is a long time. That's pickle in the world. <laughs> no more, no more. I feel like our. So San, so you're not gonna go to San Diego? He's like, hey yo, I'm in San Diego. Like I gotta, I have, I have Airbnb. For the best dick, hell no. Your boyfriend, what about your boyfriend? You can't even ask that question though. Why? Because that that was the whole, but it, because it's the it's based oh, around it's based around sex. It's not based around boyfriend. seeing. No, seeing yeah, your hell no, no more than an hour. That is crazy to me. Like, if he's not willing to drive to me. No, nah, but like he got his own place. Like I said, San Diego. Mm, no. Nah. I don't think I've had dick that good for me to drive an hour. Pickle that good. Also, I feel like Please. shitty about myself too Please. on the way there. Like, what the fuck am I doing? Oh, nah, bro. Like, I, I, I got the music blasted. I'm all happy. I got, I got Upside Down playing by Jack Johnson. Upside <laughs> Down. <laughs> banana pancakes even on yeah. the way there. Make it banana pancakes. If I had a companion, if I had a friend... <laughs> Oh yeah, if I had a friend, I'd, I'd also drive to fucking. Uh, where would I? Nah, I wouldn't. Nah, Nick, you're, you're making a Vegas trip. If you got a homie with you. Yeah, <clears throat> maybe, maybe, maybe. How well, far are you driving? Oh, how far are you driving? I said for twenty you? minutes. Best oh, coochie. Oh, best coochie. Probably like forty-five. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I expected less from you, Sean. But yeah, there you 45 go. Forty-five is okay. I mean, I'll yeah, make forty-five a, is I'll like. I'll make a couple cities. It's a lot. City jumps. That's it. But you're driving through like ten cities. I'm like, if I got if I got a friend with me, I'll go longer. But for just for like me and me and Carrie, me and Carrie pulled a two man to Palm Palm Springs. That was disgusting. Wow. Yeah, me and Carrie pulled, and it was like twelve at night. What was insanely wild? Yeah. Yeah. yeah they that, like, that was. I remember that. It's Carrie who Snapchatted me the whole. Wait, way. like you <laughs> left at twelve? We left here at twelve. Because we, we, we but but. There was no traffic, and for some reason, what Luke said, bro, Palm Springs seems like it gets farther and farther every single time because the drive was only like an hour, I think. So it's oh. the traffic that makes it bad, honestly. Like when, at night, it's if you're just flying, it's okay. Yeah, it was yeah. A straight shot. So I pulled the two men to Palm Springs. Did you like actually like the girls, or was it just people? Nah, you didn't know? I didn't even get any. <laughs> I right, neither did Carrie. We just got super fucked up. And fell asleep. Wait, did, did, did at least Carrie? Nah, that? bro. We both just got hella fucked up and just fell asleep. Bro. That is so. <laughs> Carrie, it was so funny because the next morning Carrie had a test at like 5 a.m. Mm -hmm. and he was just sitting on the toilet because there was like nowhere to go. He's sitting on the toilet like this, like in his like Zoom meeting. Oh, it was so funny. For bro. some coochie is crazy when you have a final the next day. Yo, like, yo, I is... don't even know who it was, too, man. Yeah. Wait, can you say it? Nah, yo, chill, bro. I'm not chill. I'm for Wow, <laughs> my my dudes can know because you know why though because you you said you drive that for the best coochie. Wait. Nah, but I wasn't trying to get I wasn't trying to get with I was trying to get with a friend. Though. Yeah, I know. Oh yeah, yeah. It's still the best coochie. Whatever. I don't know. I never had that. <laughs> I never tried that. I can't. Believe, I forgot you were trying to get with her. That night. Yeah, 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 that's funny. It's working until I absolutely Wait, got the single people. I have a question. Go ahead. What is that question? So there is a myth. Never mind. Just ask it, man. Dude, you Sorry. gotta stop doing that. Sorry, I know you guys are annoyed at me. No, no I just want to hear. Yes, I am. Ask it. Ask it. Ask it. So, you know the whole myth we kind of talked about how like guys think that like the sixes or sevens of girls have better coochie. Is that myth true? The sixes of no, sevens. No, I don't think that's true. What did that even mean? I remember you mentioned that to me. Mm -hmm. Oh, or maybe I like. She thinks that about it. six or seven out of ten, like for girls that are that we would classify as six or seven, oh. their coochie is better. Oh than no, me. I think they said like I honestly five can't even ask six. me. I think it was lower. Can't even ask me. I have no clue. Mm. I'm gonna. I'm gonna say. Be honest. I was about to say like in all honesty, I don't think I've gotten like a five or a six. Maybe a six. <laughs> but like that wasn't that wasn't like the best. It wasn't. What about for y'all? 
See, but like, I think this is just a guy thing. I have never heard a girl say like, "Oh, the five or sixes have better dick." Never. I've heard, I've heard what you're what you're saying though. I've heard guys say that. I, right? I have no I have no experience. I don't know. Who's like slept with the most people here? Hey man, I already oh, t- I already, yeah, I already yeah, explained yeah, my yo. celibacy. My celibacy. You're I'm not in. celibate. <laughs> yes, I am, bro. I haven't had sex in months. <laughs> okay, but is that is He's that by oppressed. choice? Huh? Is that by choice? Could be by choice. Maybe it's not by choice. I'm still <laughs> celibate either way. If it's by choice, that means you're celibate. If it's not, it's no. If I do not have intercourse, I am celibate. No, you're Point no. Blank. Christine, period. back me up on this. I was celibate, celibate for 18 years. I'm a celibate for four months, dude. That doesn't it's the it. same shit. What are we celebrating? Okay, so somebody, <laughs> so somebody, so somebody that hasn't had sex for a week can say, "Oh, I've been celibate too." For that week. Guess. The week? Yes, that Some is people are wild. So I could say I'm celibate too. No, because you're actively looking. I am not actively looking. <laughs> how long have you been celibate? Ah, how long you been what I'm saying. But like I said, even a week, a couple days, yeah, I'm still celibate. celibate. Yeah, yeah, you're celibate, celibate right now. By your logic. Yeah, but don't classify yourself in mine though. Because <laughs> like mine's, you know. It's because it's because like, uh, Nick's serious. Nick's bed rolls around. Basically, so the word yet. celibate comes from oh, the Latin. Uh, oh. Celibatus meaning unmarried. Unmarried. Unmarried state. So it's just anybody that's a man or woman who chooses to remain single, usually for religious reasons, is called a celibate. So like nuns Nick, and priests are celibate. Do you, do you choose celibate. to uh, not have sex for religious reasons? No, mm, you're not celibate, my friend. According <laughs> to definition. But typically, that's like because like <laughs> celibacy. Or, or being celibate is like you've never had sex ever and you continue to choose to stay that I'm way. I'm a reborn virgin. <laughs> That's like what celibacy is. Got it, got it, got it, got it. Never mind. A reborn virgin is wild. That's a thing. No, that's a thing. My body count right. resets after not, every boyfriend. Yeah, I'm not even fucking with you. That's a, that's the thing to be a, so a people. So what does... I don't know what religion it is, but that's the thing, being a reborn virgin. So how do you do it? What process? It's probably like the priest got to throw some holy water on you. Bro. Oh my <laughs> God, <laughs> dude. You're crazy. I think you're thinking about something else, dude. You're thinking, nah, about, bro, you're thinking, so, about, you're thinking like so a born nice. again Christian. Nah, bro. No way am I bugging on this. You're, yeah, yeah. That's what you think. Am I bugging on this? You're probably gonna throw some water on you. Born again virgin? That wouldn't make sense. That would be so easy then. You just get holy water when you go to church and sprinkle them and be like, oh, yeah. Father, I've done it again. Basically, you guys are practicing abs. You guys are practicing abstinence, yeah. not yes. celibacy. Yeah. Celibacy yeah. is you, you are a virgin based on religion. Yeah. Okay. Abstinence For, is uh, you stop practicing sex. Yeah. Oh, so I'm abstinent. You know the yeah. big A. Oh, so Wait, I'm not I thought celibacy celibate. doesn't have to be forever. No, it's forever. It's yeah, until you're married. It right? chooses to remain single, and basic. It's celibate is like a noun and an adjective. The adjective of celibate is you're abstaining from marriage and sexual relations, typically for religious reasons. Think, so a celibate priest. Yeah, yeah, that's yes. what I'm thinking about. It was and made nuts. for the holy people. Yeah. It doesn't have to be for religious reasons, but a lot of the time it is, like because that's the only reason why you're abstaining from sex is like because of religion. Right. TikTok has been using that word loosely because people are just I throwing. Hate- TikTok for yeah. that reason is like they just throw words around literally everywhere. All right, um, I said it wrong. It's called a born again. <laughs> you said <virgin>. reborn, <laughs> and it is a person who, after having engaged in sexual intercourse, makes some type of commitment not to be sexually active again until marriage. I see that a lot in like people that are like um, that get uh, into Christianity when they're older, because like, and then they just get reborn virgins like after you're baptized and all that like yeah. you can be like oh i'm never having sex so i'm married again like oh my gosh so you could put there's that people label. in the church like that yeah you could put that label on yourself like yeah. i don't know like three days before your marriage and yeah. be like well it's because like based on religion you cheat, you but, but, but he's right though no no he's it right is based, based on it's based on your personal beliefs and religion so like so. if you say say you just got into religion after you did all that mm-hmm. and you choose it. that one died <gasps> you're probably overheated Oh, that's not good. Oh, no. Oh, wait. Oh, that's not good. <laughs> wait, wait, hold on. Oh, oh wait, shit. Oh, that? shit. That's not good. Dude, dude, give me space. Oh, no, no, no. Okay, last question. A stranger offers you a million dollars if you push a button. If you do, a random person in the world would die. 
No, I'm not. Wait, what does the, the button, button do? If I push the it button, it gives I get... you a million dollars. I'm not. No, I'm not doing that. <laughs> yeah. That's blood in my hands. No, like no, an no, innocent I'm person too. What if you can kill someone on death row? Um, what if you kill someone? Nah, in your family? I'm still killing someone. <laughs> yeah, yeah, and honestly, I feel like a lot of people on death row can are innocent. They deserve. If oh. it, is it only death uh, row? <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> what? What? Oh, Sorry. What? What you say? <laughs> I feel like some people on death row are innocent. What if I accidentally get an innocent she guy? She has a point. She has a point. Wait, has you point. said you said you said you feel like a lot, not some. Oh, I don't know why I said a lot. That was for like that was for like Shock Valley. I don't know. Nah, I, and all honestly, I'm like, cause like, yeah, what if it was like someone like one of your family members? Yeah. I would. I, that's what I would be thinking. Like, if I push this button, someone in my family could die. But then I'd be up a milli. <laughs> then it's kind of like it's kind of like it's a gamble you know it's what I mean then I can gamble. give some of it to my fam that is 10 honey buns bro. not even that oh, also God. Nick has got a point with the million dollars you could um donate to a lot of like good organizations or something he ain't donating <laughs> he ain't donating bro <laughs> I give some money to my, I give some money to the family members left over that's not donating a random <laughs> a random person in the world would die it, you, it doesn't have to be your family but you would if i knew if i knew it wasn't my family oh i might hit it like two or three times oh my god dude you're giving him the possibility you're, crazy. you're not doing that bro you're not this motherfucker's not doing sean that. if i had no idea bro like i had no fucking clue like i just hit it i'm up a million nah, i think that crazy, i think after bro. the first time i think after the first time i think i'd be like I would just be like, holy shit, I have this magic button. Now that nah, I think about dude. it though, like, <laughs> I feel like people, I feel like people, don't people die like every second or something? Yeah. In the yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, you're <laughs> the button? Are you pressing the button? I'm, like, I'm sorry, I'm just kind of starting to you're see it. You're trying to make it, it sound right. You're trying to make it seem good. Nah, you're fucked up, I'm starting Mommy. to see it a little bit, Both y'all fucked but up. I still wouldn't. Know. Well, technically the world's already pushing buttons. If you accidentally hit the button. <laughs> if I were to like slip it. I might pull some shit like that, like not accidentally knock it over so that it hits the button. I would feel too guilty. You're right, way yeah. too guilty. I mean, it's like the thing of like, um, what if you could do like? Have you guys watched Death Note? And they have. I saw that the right the right in the book. Mm-hmm. So there, it's an anime called Death Note. There's a book, and if you write their name in the book, they die. Like, would you like to have that power? No. Yes. Oh my god, no. What is wrong with you? No, I could kill some very terrible people if I had to. Oh, yeah, yeah. But No, you could kill anybody. But, uh, like, if you write their name, they die. So I could put, like... You can put, like, um... Like, uh... Elon Musk. No, I would kill bad people in the world. No, you would overuse yeah. it. No, I wouldn't. I would. Would. I want that power. I would love to kill bad people. When you get your road rage, you'd pull the car over. What's your name? What's your name? <laughs> Honestly, I would want that power. Yeah, I would so like and kill the most evil people in the world. Yeah, Jeffrey yeah. Dahmer. The world would be. You'd, over- you'd overuse He's that dead. power too. He's dead. Both of you two would be. The- Why am I naming already <laughs> dead people? <laughs> <laughs> well, you two would probably be the, the per- people that I least trust the most. That's crazy. You think I would kill an innocent person? George Hell w. no. Your, your name's getting written. <laughs> He's not dead yet. Oh W W W W. Wait, why why George W Bush? Bush did 9-11. Bush did 9/11 man. <laughs> can I ask you guys a question? Another hypothetical, and then we can wrap it up. Moon, moon. Uh, you guys know the situation, like the fat man in the trolley. You know, y'all ever heard that? No. In this situation, oh, so- we already asked this, Nick. I have. Yeah. <laughs> and then <laughs> save somebody. People are on the track. Oh yeah, yeah. yeah. Wait, what? If you're on, a, if you're yeah, in a train, it's, it's such an easy answer. If you're in a train, you're going straight, and you can, you're about to kill two people, but you can change the track and, and no, yeah, no, no. You're four on a people. train. Four you're going down. There's four people uh, on the track, but you could switch it and go to the other track, but it kills two people. Are you flipping the switch or are you just going to keep going straight? I'm flipping the switch. Yeah, I'd rather take two than four. Now you just decided to kill though, those two people. Like before it was out of your hands. Yeah. You know what I mean? Oh, before it was just true. <laughs> now you just, now you flipped it and just. Well, you guys just admitted to murder, so. It's still working. <laughs> <laughs> I can't do it. Yeah, <laughs> pretend it's stuck. I'm not flipping it. No, that's no way. I'm not having that on my hands. Yeah, no way. Okay, if we we're all hanging on a cliff. <laughs> Sage. That's all. Sage. You let go of me. <laughs> <laughs> okay, honestly, we can go ahead and wrap this up. Thanks for tuning into another episode of Suburb Talks. I'm your host, Christine. We have... You were Sage, <laughs> Davino, Maru, Nick, Johnson. And don't forget to like, subscribe, push that notification bell, comment if you would take a million dollars to kill somebody. Damn. Random. Comment the comment the um the um explosion emoji if you're gonna push the button. <laughs> <laughs>
<laughs> let's yeah. let's do that. Let's comment do that. the weird monster with a pitchfork if you wouldn't do it. And thank you guys for four hundred thousand subscribers. Oh, yeah. you guys, thank you, thank you, thank you. Damn, I'd say like we'll see you guys in a month, but like they're gonna see they're gonna see us next week. Well, we'll, we'll see tell, you tell guys in a month. A month. Yeah, you guys we'll, will we'll see say us. it. We'll say it. What? Welcome back. It's time we to party. We're back, and we're back. And we're back in three. No. <laughs> <laughs> so, yes. Cheers. Cheers. <laughs> to the last podcast for a month, y'all. Salute. 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 Salute.